Hello, hello, it's I, Omni, the Omni Scientist, coming to you live from outer space. Today, it's a Friday, so we continue our Omni, or my, uh, tactical mega modded Baldur's Gate, the saga of the Kensai Omni. Day three. Quick summary of things. Uh, this is not an Omni fight stream day. Those are days other than Friday and Sunday. Uh, however, it is uh, got a whole lot of Omni in what game I'll be showing you guys today. Um, this Baldur's Gate is modified with hundreds and hundreds of mods, and they're all bent on a. They all have a tactical bent. We're well, not all of them, but there is a tactical bent to the mod selection, giving you a game with tons of fucking content, even of which I am, mostly of which I am not even aware of, and then tons of tactical encounters, which are fucking hard as hell. Um, and you know, I make them look a little easy probably, but they're not. Um, they're very hard. The game is very hard on its own, and uh, so I just want y'all to respect my amazingness. Just kidding. Hey, Yankee, thanks for being here. Yes. So that's a new name for it, by the way. This is Omni's Tactical Mega Modded Baldur's Gate. It's not Omnified. Uh, so. Oh, please. We have tarried long enough. Uh, we just finished chapter three, and we just discovered this evil cleric named Molini at the source of the operations in the Nashkel mines. Apparently, he was had an army of kobolds poisoning the ore. So, hmm, the iron shortage seems to be orchestrated. Also, we found some correspondence in his chest linking him to a shadowy figure named Tezak, who also made mentions of mercenary. Oh, I'm never this idle with their time. Who I've also who. Who also mentioned, uh, fuck, uh, contact with, uh, bandit mercenary groups. So looks like the bandit surge and the iron shortage may be linked. Well, we're gonna go investigate this Tezok fella. First, we're gonna go to the mayor of, uh, Nashkel and turn stuff in. And, um, uh, our characters here are in a oh, new- Oh, please. We have tarried long enough. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll write up with some fun. Thanks for being here, Inky. And uh, anyone else there lurking? Enjoy the show, Lurkers. This is a Lurker stream. So have fun while you're doing whatever you're doing. Um, what do we have? Uh, I always have to refresh in my memory, even with base game stuff. Let's uh, do something. I'm bored. Shut up! But, um... There should be plenty of exciting tactical challenges. I think your character is currently level 2 or 3. Very weak right now. Uh, a lot of deaths in this one so far. We actually have Minsk in our party. Wait, dying here is dead. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, uh, wait, the resurrector. Um, yeah. My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure. Any questions before I continue, guys? I'll give you a few minutes to think. Oh, we'll be hunting villagers on the stream. Okay. I know. I hate the anteaters. I when I, we were doing our initial. Uh, village or villager hunting and Animal Crossing. We kept on getting this ugly ass anteater, and like we, we I remember Let's getting. Let's do something. I remember getting I'm him. Old. I remember getting him not two times in a row, but we got him like two times, like over like five. And like, what are the chances of that happening? Like, those is a very tiny chance. It makes me suspicious. I think correctly that mm, something up with the RNG a little bit. Yeah, it makes you think that like the chances of that happening are pretty low. Like, think about it, there's like 30, how many species are in uh, uh, Animal Crossing? Just uh, take like, uh, do one out of the number of species and then time, you know, times it, or and then uh, cube, it, cube it. So if it's like one out of 30, do one out of 30, times one out of 30, times one out of 30, that's like your, the chance of that happening. It's pretty low. But it can happen. And also, why does it seem like, the, like you see cats the least? You know, it's, that's just human, that's just the, uh, Cognitive disson dissonance there. It's because we want to see the cats, probably. I wish I could spend more time in the forest. Oh, Who knows how they are, G? Uh, but the fact that we would get some, like, in the, like I would see one, and I would see him five people later. Hmm. But I, I believe them when they say it's all, you know, uniform RNG. Yeah. There's a lot of cats in the game too, but that doesn't that doesn't affect. Uh, they do they do a roll for species first, then they do a roll for. So even though there's a lot of cats in the game, it doesn't mean you're more likely to see them. All species are treated the same, um, so they they roll for the species first, and then and then the actual uh, thing. That means that the cat that you want, you're less likely to get. <laughs> so the the fact that Raymond is a cat makes him very very hard to get. 
He's a, you can't use amiibo. He's a cat, which is fine. Uh, which means that you have to compete with all the other cats. So that's why he's so difficult to get. Other other ones like, like I'm sure there's not as many wolves. So I do, you know, there's probably a number, and um, yeah. And people would always say, people like would say those octopuses are so rare. I would get like those tier one octopuses all the time. You know, there's only three of them. You know. I don't know. I don't know. You got the the taco. Takoyaki one? Oh, uh, I think, is that the, is that the pale-ish looking one? Or what, oh, please. Not pale, but. We have tarried long enough. He's like white skin or something. He's popular. Eve, Eve, Eve thought uh, he's ugly though. So we didn't get, like, he's popular, but Eve thought he was ugly. They are kind of, I mean, he, they're a little ugly. I agree with her. I don't know why they're so popular. Let's go do this. It's kind of ugly but cute. I'm I guess he. I, I can see that, but I guess Eve did not see it. Anyway, we're gonna. I'm trying to get some photographs from uh, Sprocket and, uh, and Muffy. I want to get a, a photograph from Muffy soon. I don't know, because I, I can't. I'm getting t urges to bully her. I really want to bully her. Sorry. I want to be mean to her. I don't know. And I, Eve is like tired of her scare. Boring. Shut the fuck up, Muffy. One of our originals with the shitty houses. No, Muffy. Do you like how like uh, my my party members just shit talking the stream right now? Boring. Yeah, I want to pull here. Can't help it. Oh, but please, we have tarried long enough. But uh, Eve is tired of being scared of her at night. I guess when Eve's doing terraforming at night, Muffy will just like creep her out or something. We'll follow her around. <laughs> but like, I don't even understand Muffy's house right now. Like I saw her, we saw her real house in someone's island. Which by the way, we, we were going around in Animal Crossing looking for dream islands and we found one island called Underworld. Oh, wow, I'm never this idle with their time. Which is, which is modeled after hell. And there's just blood everywhere, and it had like uh, you know the the nine, the seven deadly sins or whatever. I don't remember what, what they were, but then but for gluttony they had Muffy's house and Muffy in it for the gluttony. And uh, but her real house like like is like so weird. Like all the furniture is like dark gothic, and like in her house and mine, obviously the woods and walls, the floors. Oh, I'm never this idle with their time. One thing I was thinking about modding out of this game, not 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 their bitching, but like I think I've I've been thinking about modding out of like when you click on them. It drives me a little crazy, but um, her 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 house no her house no in her, her house normally has gothic furniture and stuff, but in our place she has all like playpen furniture like those play toy blocks. Boring. It was so weird. No, that's like such an oversight. Like, like Nintendo doesn't seem to be in a pol I mean, do they up do updates to the game? I mean, I just got it, but it's like they don't seem in a policy of updating shit much. I don't know. Even though it's version 1.42. Oh, please. We have tarried long enough. My hamster is getting antsy. If we be adventurers, let us adventure! Alright. Here we are, we just exited the Nashgal Mines and we're in a new strange area called... Valley of the Tombs. Um... So we'll explore the Valley of the Tombs a little bit later. I would first like to get out of here and um, resurrect Dinah here and then, you know, turn in uh, our quest that we just completed. Oh, please. We have tarried long enough. And um, we're going to do that. And there's still a bunch of optional areas to do. We did, we did a bunch of it in the last chapter, chapter three. 
But chapter four is, uh, we basically, well, let's see what the game has to say. Does it say anything? It is certain that the death of Mullahe will, Mullahe will, will relieve the fears the terrorized folk of Nashkel. But you remain uneasy. While the half-orc may indeed have caused the evils that befell the mine, the shortage of iron is... Sorry. <laughs> um, the shortage of iron is too widespread to be his doing alone. His letters confirm your suspicions, and though they give little indication as to where his cohorts are hiding, they may have links to the bandits that currently plague the coast way. Okay, so we're going to investigate this Tezak guy, and I think we have two leads for that right now, don't we? Um, the first lead is... There's a guy named Transig. We'll be staying at the Felda Post Inn. Apparently he's a contact. It's Tezak. And I think there's another lead too. I thought I... Okay. So I guess we're going to meet up with this Transig guy. I guess there's only one lead. Hmm. Where did I get this wand of... This is a wand of fireball, by the way. Which is godly in Baldur's Gate 1. Godly. And we are currently level 3. Kinsai with a focus on katana. I guess um, I have a mod that changes kin size, so you have to focus on a single class or weapon, which I guess I'm okay with. Although I'm a little bit uh, pissed because I wanted to uh, I'm listening. try out bastard swords a bit in this game, but it's okay. So let's Can we go for picnic? I'm hungry. What did we just say? That's not good. Oh, we have to get the fuck out of here. New area called the Valley of the Tombs. And behold, day three of Omni's tactical mega modded adventure continues. The best game of all time. My, it's a great game, but then with these mods, it's the best game of all time for its insanity. Uh, let's go to Nashkel. Now, we have to be careful when we go there, though, for reasons that are spoiler. Let's see if we can go there. Good. All right. Well, number one, we want to get uh, Dining here resurrected. We're going to have a semi tactical encounter coming up here very soon, and hopefully, not before I resurrect Dining here. Uh, but before I get to rest, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I, I said I, I said I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's the honest answer. I have no clue. All I know is I did, I did like 40 or 50 and then... Oh, um, for Raymond. Oh, we didn't get him the normal way. Whoa. Uh, Eve did it. Yeah, Eve, Eve did it in a dirty way. Um, yeah, uh, basically she gets, she got it from somebody else. A streamer. The streamer I poked fun at her about, I always refer to him as a whore. I mean, I didn't really mean that to be mean. Uh, but it, it is being a whore, a bit. Anyway, that's nothing wrong with that. Hi, Maddie. How are you doing? But then it started to bother, so I don't call him that anymore. How are you doing, Maddie? Do you like the holy music of the Temple of Helm? Eve's probably thinking he's just. 
He's just jealous. He gets way more follows. No. My need for revenge gives me strength to go on. She wouldn't think that. Um, you had a star throat yesterday. Now you got a cold. You still have a star throat. It's good. <laughs> oh, the music. Maybe it will heal your sore throat. Does the music end? There's a loop. Wait, there's another guy. Oh, it's Broggy. Guys, ready for some reading? We have to talk to uh, Ranger Baron here. We're turning in our quest here, but I need to get Diny here resurrected first. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to the white looking, but in fact, very, very black priest. Very black priest. Helm, very black. Over thee upon thy quest. All right. Um, let's resurrect Diny here. How much is that going to cost? 400 bucks? Jesus. She lives again. Um, let's give her her stuff. Bags are holding. So what I do eventually is I eventually get like a bag of holding for like individual characters Just so I can like uh, dump all their equipment in there and then like take it out real easily um, Cuz it like not it's very painful when characters die in the game Like if they like it's especially painful if they had uh, missile weapons because they have to, taking out their ammo is a pain in the butt And it becomes even more painful. This is corrected, I think, in the um, enhanced edition. So, haha, -ha, but not worth it for me to switch over. But, uh, like, if they had spells memorized and they have things that, like, give them additional spell slots, they lose it. But look at this. Uh, our character has uh, level two spells, so we can get web. Web is so nice to have. But, um, web isn't. Web will be even nicer to have once we have uh, freedom of movement. Uh, for my tanks. What you do is you can web people, which basically uh, wraps them up in a web, and um, they can't move and they can't do anything, actually, and then you can have people with freedom of movement walk up to them and just wreck the shit out of them. But uh, until we get that, we can just pelt them with uh, ranged weapons. It's pretty important for crowd control. More so important in other games than Baldur's Gate, specifically Icewind Dale. Icewind Dale is like such... Icewind Dale is like a really hard game, like without mods even. And, um, like, crowd control is so, like, Gre Grease and Icewind Dale is, like, God. You've been playing Among Us with people? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I see all these big streamer people play Among Us. All them big streamer types on this Twitch.tv. I'll make a solemn promise to you guys I will never play Among Us. Because even if it's the best game in the world, just through association, it's... It's, um, I find it disgusting. Just kidding. All right. I don't know anything about it. What are, what are you doing among us? How do you play it? Oh, isn't that a game where, like, isn't there, like, a bad guy in your group or something, and you have to find out who the bad guy is or something? Friend, friends ruin this game? Friends ruin? Wait, what? Okay. But yeah, I call that one streamer a whore, though. Uh, a guy streamer, by the way. Let's make that clear here. Um, <laughs> just because, well, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's like, it's not a very long-term solution for, uh, uh, I mean, people can do whatever they want, it's fine. But like, if you're, if you're getting people to watch you by giving them stuff, it's not gonna work long-term. Because eventually you're gonna go insane and be tired of the game and no one's gonna watch you. It's happened to me. Um, Oh, yeah, it's nerve-wracking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, don't be careful with your nerves. You only got, you know, the pet, the, the set you're born with. They're called? Minsky's nothing if not the most loyal companion. Many a time, what's the music go? Many a time I was grateful for him traveling with me. Um, today I'm going to try to actually read the mod dialogue. I'm going to try to stay calm and read the mod dialogue and not just be like, fuck it. I uh, I appreciate Mint's company myself and yours truly. I consider both of you my friends now. Okay, let's hit on her. So that's the closest thing I have to hitting on her. That is my feeling towards thee as well. On the road, friendships quickly forged and cemented firmly by the challenges comrades face together. Yeah, then we can do it in the sleeping bags. All right. Friendship, your thing, boss. The gods are unforgiving, fool. Ah, oh, great sound bite. No, I'm busy. Uh, okay. Yes, please. Oh, that good woman. I have led the search for her son. I will continue the search. Can you give me some hints? 
Aaron and Marina were ambushed near the waterfall in the clouds peak. We know that. And according to the tracks, we suspect it was the Knolls. They pushed Marina down the waterfall. She may have fought back too much. Aaron was taken to the west, and as far as I could read from the tracks. Hope you guys appreciate the reading uh, for free. Normally I charge $5 per uh, paragraph. But today you guys are lucky, and uh, you get it for free. Uh, why'd you stop the search? The mountains are large, and I only had a handful of farmers with me. Most of them had no experience with the wilderness and wanted to return to the fields. You can imagine how much help they would have been in a fight. Do uh, you know anything strange? Listen carefully now, my friends. I am not in the Temple of Helm for nothing. I am here because I saw something out there. At night, you can see a figure by the waterfall. A bright white shape. I do not know how you treat with, with something like that, but I cho choose to pray for divine help before confronting ghosts and undead. Um, thank you, that's all I need to know. Go with the blessings of the gods. What a great soundbite that guy has for a greeting, though. Fucking great soundbite. Okay. Um, can I rest in here? Very important. Hey, you're a queer fellow. Very important question. Because we have a fight up ahead. Up. Oh. We're having a dream. Pay attention. You were startled out of sleep with a chill. Though the night is warm and calm, it is though someone has walked across your grave, and for a moment you wonder if it was you. No. With this thought, the ground beneath Creepy. you opens, and you are swept into the dark. When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahe, in no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Mullahe hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you. A dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. Mm. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart, its target. Uh -oh. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. A disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. You will learn. Do we actually rest? Good. Wait. Good. We actually rested, I think. Excellent. And for some strange reason, we now have a new ability. Oh yeah, we we now we can now heal. We have a healing touch twice a day. Hmm, what's that all about? Hmm, I don't know. Hello. If that's what you wish. All right, guys. I'm sure you're ready for some fun. Let's get some fun on. Yeah, I guess so. Let's let, let it begin here. Um, I guess we'll turn in my, our quest first. For the mines. Stand away, citizen! You've returned. It would seem I was right to trust you. What can you tell about the events that took place in the mines? Um, a half-orc named Malhe was corrupting the iron ore with a mineral poison. I have a sample of it here. What is this you say? You are wise in bringing back a sample. I fear that distrust of magic means we are ill-equipped. Excuse me. To analyze the poison. I have to burp a bunch of times now. The fucking voice. However, our isolation compounds the problem. It would be quicker to take the vial north to Thalantur or Beragast than to journey south in search of an Amish or Archmage. 
If you have any of the tainted ore, you might consider taking it to Tehram Furium while you are there. I don't doubt his ability to devise some way to work around his brittle properties. Best if you not mention this to anyone, however. Relations between Baldur's Gate and Amr tense. To say the least, I should not, perhaps not be sending something so valuable out of Amr's hands. Regardless, the town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 450 gold, modded to be less than what it normally is, I guess, for your efforts. It is a small fortune by anyone's standards. It's okay. Thank you again. It is pleasant to know that... I I mean, I think I should mod that for realism. Right? Like, this, I hate that when it happens in games, like, uh, is it a small fortune. 450 gold. I think it should be more than 450 gold that we get from this. Um... I mean, that was a chapter to uh, ending battle. Um, I mean, I'm thinking one to two thousand gold for uh, doing this makes more sense to me. Um, that's a that's a that's a pretty good amount. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let's do that right now. All right, so this is Baron Gaskill, right? That's the name of the mayor. Why not correct things? I mean, especially there's a small fortune by human standards. No, 450 is not very good enough. Um, I had to pay that just to resurrect Dine here. Let's see. So his dialogue file is Berun dialogue. So we have to correct the dialogue, then we have to correct how much it gives us. So there's a tree th view now, which is nice. It's interesting, there's two different states here. Ah, what is this state? Oh, interesting. Uh, this makes it a little bit more difficult, though. Yeah, but where does it go now? How do I go to state 95? Thank you. How do I open up? I didn't see this before. Oh. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Uh, no text. Best if you don't mention this to anyone. Yep. This is very nice. This is, they just added this. Like, well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe it was years ago they added it, but last time I used this, they didn't have a dialogue tree editor. So that's nice. Like, uh, fucking going around in the dialogue. I mean, it's so complicated, especially with all the mods. Like, everything is so complicated. Um, it's complicated by default, too. Uh, let's see. Your proper reward. Please take this 450 gold for your efforts. Uh, it is a small fortune by anyone's standards. Okay. So, one thing I have to see is here is I have to see if there's multiple states here that, um, give you that reward. Um, I, I don't think so. So there are multiple. So there's a, a response here that gives you the reward, and then here is that it? Anywhere else? Yeah, they're all. It's all over the place. State ninety four. Why are they like different? Uh, he takes the Molhe's holy symbol. He takes the fucking letter. Interesting. I wonder what mod added that. Okay, yeah, seriously here too. I wonder how you get to this uh, state here. I wonder what his motive could have been. Well, this is if you don't have the uh, tainted ore sample here. Nope, um, uh, fixing something that uh, angers me. Um, we just uh, turned in the Baron Gas Kill. We just turned in the reward. We just turned in our investigation of the mines, the Nashkill mines, and the Baron says, 
Here's a proper reward. Please take this 450 gold for your efforts. It's a small fortune of anyone's standards. Don't you hate that? And again, that's not a fortune at all. And like, like you deserve more than that for clearing out the menace from the mines. Uh, a fortune would be 2,000 gold at this point in the game. So I'm gonna raise it to 2,000 gold here, because then that's more correct. So. So I guess I'm showing you guys how the dialogue works in the game. It's structured like a tree, I suppose. And yeah, I did, I did think it's stupid and it breaks my immersion. So we're gonna make it 2000. And there's, there's multiple dialogue states where he gives us the rewards, unfortunately. And so we have to, this actually requires me to, to go through a lot. There's a way you can script changes here, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna learn the scripting language. Looks like it all starts here at state. Uh, dialogue's very, uh, it's very complicated in this game. I mean, there's so many, there's hundreds of mods adding and fucking with it. So it looks like we started at uh, state 90 or 88. Wait, that the string table there. 88. 89. 90. These are all different ways that he can give you your money. Four and ninety-five. Nope. Um, ninety-seven and ninety-eight. It's funny. Ninety-seven and then ninety-eight. All you give, those are all different. Uh, isn't that insane? Um, what was it before? I mean, uh, what is it in vanilla? What are you asking? Is that insane? There's like eight, like what games have that where like when you complete a quest, there's eight different ways that they can actually just get to the particular part where they give you the money. This game is so complicated. 450 gold. He's like, this is a small fortune by anyone's standards. It's not a good small fortune. It angers me. Like, uh, 450 gold is nothing. So, so it cost me 400 gold to resurrect uh, down here. I want three, I want four digits. 2,000 is like a small fortune. And we can invest that in some stuff. Um, so these are all probably referencing different strings. Actually, I should have wrote down what, what the string references are. So let's write down the string references as we fix this here. There's two parts to do. I have to fix the uh, the actual string table thing here, and then I have to fix the scripting part. Um, it's not a lot of my. Uh, uh, it's quite a lot in D and D. I pick. Uh, uh, it's not a small fortune in my game though. Um, again, like it doesn't. I don't even cover the cost to go down there with it. So. So uh, two thousand is good. That's what we're gonna do in a. Uh, uh, Omni's tentacle, make him out of Baldur's Gate. Please know anyone that's watching this that um, I've made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fixes, taking hours of my time to make things in the game more expensive, to make like rewards less, etc. And so this is me after being battered and bruised, fighting for the good of just gaming, just taking a nice time to sit down and drink a, a little glass of whiskey. Um, yeah, yeah, the recovery, yeah, like, uh, yeah, the, like it cost me 450 bucks to recover, uh, to resurrect down here. Um, so this is string ref uh, 153596. It's a bit of a pain in the ass to edit these. You cannot edit string references until you kill the game. Supposed to be super expensive. Yeah, oh, it's a raised dead, technically. Um, yeah. Well, uh, I'm just giving you, like, uh, in my game, uh, 2,000 is a proper reward for this quest. Let's see. So we have to do one, five, three, five, nine, six. Yeah, let's just, like, buy or maybe potentially one nice item. Maybe. Although most of my nice items are way out of reach still. Uh, one, five, three, nine, seven. Oh, we can just edit it from here now because I can. So here's a script right here that is associated with, there's an action associated with the state. The state is like basically what the character, what the person you're talking to says. Your response is here, which is what you can say at the bottom, you know? And um, why is this a, this is complicated. This is an end state. So I think this goes into your console. You don't actually say it to them. 
Um, then here's the, the script that goes off once you, uh, you know, hit, as soon as the dialogue thing loads here. And you can see here it gives a gold, give gold force 450. I'm gonna change that here. So uh, this uses action 113, this uses action 123. So they're all different apparently. Oh god, we have to do it like this still? Okay. And as you can see here, there's another one that's, uh, there's a previous action here, action 104. What uses 104? What uses 104? None of my, uh, wait, 84 uses 104. We missed 104. Wait, what is this thing? So see, this is from a mod here. This is where he gives you the, the gold here. He doesn't say how much he's giving you though here. He's just saying, thank you, my lady. The assistance of the cowled wizard is greatly appreciated. That's from a, what mod is that from? What, how do you get there? State 84, can you show me on the tree? This is so nice, I just added this not too long ago. It's so much easier to figure things out. The cowled wizards remain ready to assist in the event of further magical danger. See, like, this is, like, there's so much weird shit in my game, like... What? What? How do you get there? You can get there if... T2 Val... This one's... So there's someone named Val. There's someone in... There's some NPC named Val? T2 Val? Who the fuck is that? What? That might be a Google. I don't know how to look up, uh... Well, we can do a search for Val, but there's gonna be a lot of Vals, watch. Oh, look how... Um... Okay, here it is. Teacher's a prefix. Valerie. Oh, so there's a... Oh, her! She's standing outside there. Oh, she's a cowled wizard. Okay. That's interesting. She's level 5? Just so OP. She's someone I ignored. I didn't pick her up. Um, okay. So let's fix this too. There are like, there are, you know, do you want to have an idea how many, so on top of all the mods, you know, there's all the changes I've made. Do you want to have an idea of how many changes I've made? I've made over 1,558 changes to the game. And, uh, apparently, and I, uh, I don't, I don't have those recorded at all. <laughs> I should put that in my uh, things here. Yep. I don't know what they are. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. All I know is just to make the perfect gameplay experience. Where's my Jolly Rancher? Okay, so let's change this here. Thank you, my lady. The assistance of the cowled wizard is greatly appreciated. So this is where he gives you the money and the and the dialogue ends. We should probably have him say something similar to what he's saying here. Um, uh, so please take this for uh, please take this gold for your efforts. A small fortune is standard. Thank you again. Yeah, let's do that here. Um, and then of course we're going to change it here. So we're going to start here by changing it. Um, so we're not going to get. So here's the action right here. Why does it look like it's all highlighted? That's really Oh. Is this right? So here's the action here. Um, we're gonna change all the actions so that we get the proper amount here, which is gonna be 2,000 gold. Um, no, it's not the evil Jolly Rancher sucker, and like I'm not gonna eat it like a dumbass this time. So here, give gold force. Uh, we'll give the party uh, money. So uh, let's just update all the actions here so we get as many of them. So we get uh, 2,000. Then we have to update the dialogue. Yeah, I like, had it like lodged up here. Which, I mean, I cannot believe it caused such a fucking. It's still a little. It, it's finally feeling better today, though. I mean, it was still like sore and annoying for a while, but it's feeling better today. Although the skin's oh, it's still like kind of tender in there. That's fucking crazy, is it? That's fucking kind of insane. This should be this should be a, a story on the local news. Like lolly suck lolly. A bunch of scratch or something. I, I I had it like stuck up here and just like. My lips wrapped around it, and it, like it's like the acidity on this thing, just like fucking just. I don't like. 
It, like, burned my lip. It, like, burned it. It's crazy. Eve had me pour a bunch of salt on it. Eve has a bunch of home remedies. <laughs> okay, we updated all the actions. Now we set to update the, uh... This is different though than, this is different than the, it's different. It's a different, I'll be okay. I'll avoid putting it near my lip. I'll be okay. So let's change this here. I wanted to say something uh, similar to what it, what it says here. Is this still copied here? Fix this like broken ass mod dialogue here. So this is the first one I have to edit here. Uh, we, how do I do this? Oh, it's annoying. How do I edit it? Oh, I have to open up all these windows? Okay. Please take this 2,000 gold for your efforts. The dialogue.tkl file is like one of the most like look how many look how many string entries there are in my game There's like there's fucking millions man. So it's such a giant fucking game um, Okay uh, There we go now now it's correct Man, if we go a little faster here the next one is 88 Let's just edit it from here Let's see, please take, wait, what did I copy? Please take this 400 gold. There you go. Oh, I think he worried. Hi, handsome OMNHI. Hey, Lancey. Thank you so much for 14 months now, buddy. I appreciate that, baby. How you doing? How you doing, Lancey? Not good. <laughs> New name change, huh? Back to the land. I couldn't let go of that land. The land. Like the land identity, huh? Did you know, um, um, I got a Jolly Rancher in my mouth, so. Uh, my very first handle in an online game, and you know, like, I don't know, I, I would adopt a handle and that would become my identity, so I've used, you know, the Omni thing for decades, right? But my very first was in the, um, and in Ultima Online, too, so when I was, like, was LAN, that was my, uh, that was my handle, I would use LAN. Yeah, it's true. I remember that because it's embedded in my mind because... When I, uh, when I, uh, conned my way into Ultima Online support system, and I was doing support requests for people, and I had, uh, admin powers, basically, as a fucking 15-year-old child, by the way, who worked at McDonald's, um, I, uh, and I was, uh, teleporting them all into a place in, in a dungeon where they were all being murdered by a demon they couldn't escape from. I just remember someone saying, Welcome to the hell of senior companion land. I was a teenager, you know. It's better than breaking windows. Teens, you know, teen, some of them, they get some violent, they want to get some destructive tendencies. Okay. Well, we're just uh, correcting a, a reward given to us in this game here. Um, look, if, if he if he said, if he didn't say, it's a small fortune by anyone's standards, I wouldn't even be making this change here. Oh no! We also have to correct the, the journal entries too, fuck. Oh. Next one is... I know. Another reason why I did it is because they needed me to give them my ID, saying I was 18. You had to be 18 to do it. And my time was running out because... They're like, okay, send, it to, send us the ID by, you know, and my time was running out, so... I, uh, 
I didn't have a fake ID. Um, next is uh, 89. Oh. What seems super dumb on their part? The the requirement? Yeah, yeah. They um they they would grant it to you and then they would uh basically um tell you what you had to do and it's like you have you know X amount of days to send in uh, your IDs and stuff. Yeah, it's in the mail, guys. That's what I said. I think I got it pushed out a bit, too. I was bullshitting them. So this just goes to show you how complex my Baldur's Gate is. This one dialogue here that, that this character says to you and giving you money for clearing out the mines, there's like, oh, there's like over nine different uh, variations of it based on uh, conditions. And I'm sure there's, there's a number of variations in the base game too, but not as many as main. I just always wanted to brag and stroke my Baldur's Gate's dick. Um, 94. Hey, you found Bo. Oh, Bo is great. We love Bo. We love Bo. He's so cute. He's adorable. Like, I thought lazy sucked because Al is lazy. He's so fucking adorable. He says cuter things than Al, too. Like, Al's just a creep. Guys, if you ever see uh, uh, the, the animal Al in, when you're playing Animal Crossing, make sure you, you know, are abusive to them mentally and physically. They deserve it. That's what they deserve. They deserve to be treated like shit. Anyway. Uh, Animal Crossing brings out my inner boy. <laughs> he's lazy. He's lazy. He says he's like he likes working out though, but he never works out. Or he does a little bit. Yeah, Bo is wonderful. Bo is Bo is top tier. He's really he's so cute. Um, but so what are you gonna do? You're gonna get Bo, or you're gonna try to still look for Raymond? We're almost done here, guys. I'm kind of taking my time here, I guess. 94, and, well, we're not, okay. We're kind of almost done. I have to also update the journal entries. Wait, this is, oh good, this, these share the these share the string table references, that's great. Wait, he doesn't, okay. Okay. All right, we updated the dialogue and the script to give us a proper reward that's actually a small fortune by anyone's standards. Unfortunately, we also have to update our journal entry because we write in our journal, oh, I was given X amount of gold. And, you know, it can't be inconsistent, can it? Um, so here is the first response here. Uh, hopefully there's not too many of these, but there might be. This here is a journal entry. To anchovy, oh. I'm not familiar with Anchovy. I saw him. I saw his house, so, or on the map when I was there last. Good. Oh, is that it for the journal entry too? Yay! Good. Journal entries are up to date. Great. Save changes. So that actually, when I said I had 1588 changes in this game, everything we did just there like counts as one change, basically. So there's probably gonna be more in 1600 changes, technically. It's like I've, I've, I've modified 1600 files in the game.
You don't like birds? Um, well, it scared me for a second. Like, All right, let's go on and collect our reward again. Okay, thank you. Stand away, citizen. Okay, we already read this. Regardless, the town thanks you wholeheartedly and is pleased to give you the proper reward. Please take this 2,000 gold for your efforts. It is a small fortune by you and Sanders. I agree it is. Thank you again. It is pleasant to know that their labors are well appreciated, Omni. They are. Mark this young man well, Mayor. I sense that this is not the last good deed that, the, that, that is da out. Hurry up. Oh, fuck your language. That's good to hear. <laughs> Wait. It only gave me 450 gold. Why? I missed some. So give gold, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000. Wait, why are there so many actions here? Why is there like fucking so many of them? Why is there so many? Wait. I don't give it. I don't get it. Uh, oh, you might not be able to change uh, his dialogue anymore. It's baked into the game. I don't understand what D's are here, though. Action 42. Oh, what are these? Jesus, there's more- wait. These are actually all legitimate fucking ones. Holy fuck. So I have to change all of these? Well, we're done changing strings at least, but Jesus fucking Christ. All right, we have to change all of these. Oh my God, like it's insanity. Hey. That is actual insanity. Probably some of these won't go off very often, but. Oh, come on. So I was I was raw this is insanity, man. See this is this is mega modded, man. There's so many fucking mods. <sighs> it's gonna make my fucking wrist hurt. We haven't had any battles yet. We're about to have a tactical battle battle here, guys. It's gonna be our first. One of the most exciting things in in these games are the uh, this fucking suck my balls. Are the mage fights very exciting? They're really excellent, and but it takes a while to fight a proper mage. This guy's a little bit more proper. The guy we're gonna be fighting here in a second, a little bit more proper. Not super proper. Super proper would be too hard. Super proper impossible. At this point. This is fucking Nutty Bar. How can there be so many fucking... Oh my god, how many are there?
I didn't think this would take this long, but okay. It's okay. Silly Omni. I should learn the scripting language sometimes so I can actually have documented mods. And because if you use this, the, the scripting to make changes, then it'll be recorded too. And you can roll them back. All my stuff's not really roll back. Well, it is, but like in, just through copy paste. I can make a, I can package them up eventually and make an official amount of these changes here. This wouldn't be very distributable though. It would just be for my own personal use. Jesus Christ! How many more? How many? Jesus, we're almost there, but. trying to be calm and take my time here, but I realize this is incredibly horrific to watch. I, I think I bitch about this every single time I've played through it so far, about this reward here, so I'm glad we're taking care of it. Just because you just ball forge it by anyone's means. It's like, that's, that rub, it's like rubs it in. And it's supposed to be an okay amount. You're fine. Not 20, not 2 million. You get 2 million gold for this. <laughs> You'd be like, wow. I don't have to adventure. I'm rich. Just buy off all these assassins. How would you carry 2 million gold pieces? Done? Done. I'm listening. Okay, I'm ready for a tactical fight here, but I'm going to save here just in case I fucked up again. Uh -huh. Stand away, citizen. There we go, 2,000 gold. My reputation increased by one, and we got an XP of uh, one. Let's see if the, if the uh, yep, here, 2,000 gold. The journal entry was correctly. He said the right thing. Good. That's done, taken care of. All right, mm -hmm. you guys ready for some fun? Who's ready for some fun? Who the hell is this guy? How are you? Oh no, this is gonna happen first? Lady Von Ungentite. Is this the person who meant Arnim? Yeah, that's him. Soldier, I arrest this person. You wait. You are accused of threatening the son of Lord and Lady Von Ungentite with your weapons and killing his little pet animal. Do you confess? <sighs> his pet animal? Since when do little boys have baby wyverns as pets? Remember, he was being attacked by a baby wyvern. What is this about? You threatened my son. I swear I killed a baby wyvern that was chasing your son. What? What is this person talking about? Ask your son. A baby wyvern chased him. What is this talking about, baby wyvern? You were accused of threatening your lord, young lord von Underzeit and killing his pet grass snake. His pet grass snake? I repeat, it was a baby wyvern that was chasing him. Ooh. Why does this hit? Why does it have to be so much talking? Arrest this person. Under circumstances, I have to give him his right to explain himself. I'm beginning to feel annoyed, though. Arrest this person. Our son nearly got killed. And the little grass snake. That egg cost 500 GP with an exclusive delivery from Waterdeep. I want compensation for the costs. Grass snake, Arnhem, don't you think it's time to tell your parents the truth? 
How dare you talk to my son? Soldier, I demand this arrest this person right now. Um, here, take a look at the baby wyvern head. Does this look like a grass snake to you? That's a wyvern's head, and very fresh was taken. Would this mean that... Stop talking about a wyvern. Well, that egg did look kind of big, but the animal dealer said it was a special breed. Arnum? Aye, aye. Ma'am, I'm sorry. It's true. It was a baby wyvern that came out of the egg. It was so frightened. It tried to eat me. Arnum, poor baby. Why didn't you tell us? Because he knew he would feel my beating, that's why. <laughs> so you lost your pet animal and you accused innocent? Well, maybe not innocent, but anyway, a stranger of it. Boy, you wait until we get home. Dearest, please, he's innocent. This is the person you accused of threatening your son. Am I right that the complaint will be withdrawn? What? Yes, of course. Or, yes, of course. Or whatever. Would you like to say some last words to the savior of your son? We are thankful, dear stranger. No, we are not. You killed an exotic animal worth 1,000 GP that was in my possession. Better leave quickly and never return. Lord von Anderseet, be careful with your manner of speech. Omni, our apologies for the false accusations. We thank you for the courage that you displayed by saving a child of our city. Um, I'm glad it's all sorted out then. There's one more thing, Lord von Anderseet. I arrest you under the charge of possessing dangerous exotic animals inside the city. Come with me now. What? This is... I am Lord von Anderseet. I protest. Take our hands off me, you idiots. You can be assured that we will not let this matter rest. A wyvern is loose within the city. We will sort this out. A messenger will go f as far as Waterdeep today to prevent such an occurrence again. What a coincidence. First they have to fight a monster, then we were accused of killing it. Am I, I'm still trying to understand what actually happened. So are we heroes then? I don't know what he the excitement's all about. Young drow have pet monsters far more dangerous than a newly hashed wyvern. That man should be glad his son had such good opportunity to train himself. So self-opinionated. See what it led to. A son that is too afraid to tell of the danger he was in. And an innocent to save of his son wrongly accused sigh. I am sorry for the wife and child having such a husband and father. Means cast to remember that this man is innocent. His butt is wanting to be kicked. Am I the only one who wonders where the snake egg was delivered to? And who would order a wyvern anyway? Assuming that this was a mixed up delivery. I guess this leads to another quest eventually. Alright, well we're falsely accused of trying to murder his son. Exciting time guys. And we got out of it. I am death come for thee. Surrender. And thy passage shall be quicker. What? I'm uh, surrendering to- I'm not surrendering to anything. Struggle if you must, dead one. I do not mind working for my money. Why Nimble has been hired to deal with the likes of you, I'll never know. <gasps> is this perhaps a first mage encounter? Let's find out. Wait, wait, is he a mage or is he a... Here's tactical encounter. Okay, so he has pre-buff here, he has mirror image shield. And he has haste. And he's fucking has improved invisibility and stone skin. Insane for low level. So let's talk about this encounter here real quick. Um, we need to penetrate, first of all, his, uh, improved invisibility, so we can, uh, until we dispel the invisibility, we can't target him with spells, we can't target him with anything, um, the way improved invisibility works is that once you break your invisibility, you're still, um, partially invisible, and you can't be targeted with spells or anything, um, until you dispel the invisibility. Uh, we don't have any dispel spells or anything like that, we're too low level, but we have our rogue, who can do a detect illusion and, and uh, break it that way, so we're gonna need, uh, then we have his mirror image, which uh, provides a defense in that one out of four hits will go and destroy a mirror image instead of doing damage to him. So it gives you a pretty lengthy buffer. And then we have stone skin. We can't do any damage to him until we do enough uh, physical damage against him after getting past the invisibility and the uh, mirror image to um, basically stone, waste stone skin where it's, is it, I think it's absorbed damage. It absorbs a number of hits and then his stone skin disappears, then you can do damage to him. Um, only after that happens can we do any kind of interruption to him, but he's also invisible So if he's a rogue here, he's gonna get like insane backstab damage on our characters and like one shot them. So it's a problem. So um, That's basically this, uh, this here. What else does he do? So he's probably gonna go up and he's probably gonna try to stab someone dead Taking reward for this easier kill is almost a crime <laughs> He's gonna go after <laughs> He's gonna go after Minsk. Oh He missed okay. He missed Min Minsk, which is perfect. Um, that pops him out of the initial invisibility here. He's just in his weapon, good. So let's do this then. So we're gonna put everyone on him uh, that we have here. But we want M1 to be doing detect illusions. You can't do any uh, spells, so we can break through the mirror image real quick. I mean, it's gonna be pretty basic here. Um, so until we get his improved invisibility gone, I can't target hold person on him, which is like kind of our trump card here that we use to, to win. 
old person makes them paralyzed and they're basically dead. Because it lowers their AC quite a bit and they can't hurt you. So, I'm going to try to bypass the mirror image here. See, like, everyone's... We can't even hit him here, but all his mirror images are up. She's going to make it possible to... I'm going to heal my character here. We're waiting for M1 to maybe dispel his illusions. So he just did a minor sequencer here in uh, Baldur's Gate in 2nd Edition. Uh, but this is like, this had the best spell system of any of the fucking games. There's this thing called a minor sequencer. You can um, prepare and you prepare it beforehand and it'll fire off two spells, I think, immediately without having to cast them. Or no, or just one spell. I don't remember. It looks like, I don't know if it's two spells or a bug. Let's say two spells. So he had minor, he had charm person, so he charmed my main character here. My main character, I don't have any control over him anymore. Um, but I don't know if it's a level of charm where I'm going to be attacked by him, though. We're going to find out, I guess, here. Taking reward for this easier kill is almost okay. Prime. So you can see here where he dispels illusion here. This is good. So now we can start fucking with him. Um, I'm going to start to cast uh, hold person on him. And then hopefully... Uh, Hopefully he doesn't go invisible during the, the spell cast, because if he does, uh, it'll cancel the spell and I'll lose the spell charge. So let's see what happens. But so basically, whether or not we win this... Whether or not we win this fight is dependent on whether Viconia's spell lands. Okay, check out the spell off. Let's see if he saves. Okay, well, look at that. It worked. He missed the saving throw, and we win the fight. We can actually start doing damage to him now. dead. Things get really fucking complicated in this game, so I'll just do like an approach of slowly explaining like the fights so people understand everything. Uh, the only problem here is that my character is still uh, uh, charmed. I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh no, no, I'm being attacked by a soldier because I'm charmed, so he actually lost the fight. The glory of arms. We actually lost the fight. Wow. I can't do anything to stop this. Wow. Oh, I forgot to start my uh, death counter. We actually lost a fight. All right. So that was a very lucky first fight. Unfortunately, it's not going to go as well this time. Um, yes. Like, he's probably going to kill me. He's probably gonna kill one person. Uh, hmm. So there's something we can actually cast here. Um, when he goes invisible. I don't know if it works. So we have glitter dust here. Glitter dust creates a cloud of golden particles within the area of effect. Which blinds people. But it also reveals invisible creatures because they're covered by it. So I guess I could reveal him before he... It's gonna be really hard to get it off though. Before he, uh... Gets an attack on someone, and also it's problematic because it might hit a villager. I am death come for thee. Surrender, and thy passage shall be right. quicker. What you want? This way. Hello. That's very unfortunate. Yep. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna try to break his invisibility. And his mirror image. So let's see who he's attacking here. I'm looking to see who he's going to attack. He's attacking Diny here. Oh no, she's going to get murdered. Oh. So I want to move it. Okay, see? Look at that. Where is he? So I want to move your people away so that they don't get attacked. But uh, the illusion got the spell here, so his mirror image is gone. And his... Um, uh, and the visibility is gone. 
So I want to start casting Hold Person on him, but I have to get Viconia away so she doesn't get attacked by him. Otherwise, she'll get interrupted. I also have to move these people away so he doesn't go after the range. At least want the two melee going after him. And then as soon as possible, I want to cast a Hold Person on him by Viconia. Okay, I'm going to cast Hold Person on him now. Oh, he's chasing Tiny here. And then hopefully it'll land before the Charm Person goes off. What is he casting? No. So he casted another mirror image. And this time he saved against the spell. That sucks. Let's try to do another one. And then I have to use M1 here again to uh, dispel his mirror image now. So she had to take out of the fight here and uh, just try to just work on dispelling his mirror image here. Good, we dispelled the mirror image. Great. It looks like we broke through his stone skin. Or did we? No, we did not. We've had many, many hits on him so far, but the stone skin's held up. And so we're going to... Uh, let's see. Uh, we have to kill him before he gets the charm person off. Reward for this easier kill is almost a crime. So he got an invisibility off, <laughs> which caused the Viconia's spell to be canceled, and then she loses the charge again. Because when if you go invisible, you can't target him with the spells anymore, right? So that sucks. Very annoying tactic. So he's probably gonna murder somebody. He's probably he might murder me. Luckily he only did six damage to me somehow. Once again he has, he has improved invisibility, we can see him, but I'm not able to target him with spells because the improved invisibility is still active. If I try to target him with a spell right here, it's gonna say, um, well, oh, I just, I just spelled the illusion already? Oh, he just cast invisibility, he didn't cast improved invisibility. Uh, okay. Right? Okay, cool. Hello. Let's heal our main character. Is this exciting, guys, at all, or are you guys bored? Mm -hmm. And he got the charm person off on us, which is not good. Taking reward for this easier kill is almost a crime. <laughs> so I can't. Uh, I'm out of a whole person charges. I'm not doing any damage to him yet because he still has a stone skin up. And now he's casting sleep on us. It didn't look like it work. Struggle if you must get one. I do not mind Man, we cannot hit this guy. They're kind of fucked. Reward for this easier kill. Three damage to him. He's almost dead. What is he casting, though? What is he casting? What is he? Ca no, he cast a monster summoning three. That's gonna be hard monsters. Oh no. I can't believe he got that off. Oh no. We have to kill these guys quickly. Oh no. Wait. Is he gonna. He be That's me right now. I don't want him attacking me. Good. You point, I punch. Let's talk so he's panicked right now, he's running away. No okay, good. Now I have to kill this guy before he gets unpanicked. For some reason, my character's charmed, but he's still attacking. Hey, we got him. All right, good job, Viconia. Okay, we're going to do it this... We're gonna do a little a trick here to get 
So I'm gonna rest right now, and I hope that uh, my... Well, let's see if we can wait a little bit for my guy to become uncharmed. But if, if the guards come here, they're gonna kill him. Nine, Russia. Oh, good! He's not charmed anymore. He did a save versus spell 18. Nice! We beat the nim the improved nimble encounter. Good for us, guys. So that's the first kind of somewhat proper mage, but not really still. Let's flute him. Hi, Russia. Thanks for being here, man. What's this? Nimble. The money you receive from transit should cover our usual fee. Your assignment's a difficult one, but I'm sure you're up to the task. There's a group of mercenaries who should be coming through Nashville in the next few days. They're led by a whelp named Omni. You were to kill Omni and all that travel with him. I warn you, they might not look like much, but they are very dangerous. Good hunting. Tezak! Oh, it's that Tezak guy again. Hmm. What does this spell find familiar? Okay. Oh, he has a black green gem bag on him. That's cool. I already have a gem bag, though. I guess I'll give it to somebody else. He has a ring on him, and he has a scimitar on him, and he has a spell book on him. And he has some. So these are all magical items that we need to identify. So let's spend some time identifying them, I guess. This is a ring of night vision, I think. Nice embrace. Pretty useless for- oh, it gives you a hiding shadows 40% bonus. That's nice. This ring is is as dark as the night sky. When dawned, it grants us aware of the ability to see perfectly in the dark and blend easily into shadows. So a common item among rogues and others who wish to go unnoticed, this item is rapidly becoming standard equipment among the night mass, according to the Westgate City Watch. Uh, you know, neat, but not kind of useless for us. And then we're gonna have to rest if you want to identify anything else here. Get some money on him, and what are these? Hey, throwing axes! So my character can use these throwing axes to do uh, to do ranged weapons, or ranged battles. It's just kind of a pain because, like, I don't know, it don't last too long. Oh, that's neat. Okay, good. That's great. Let's go rest. If that's what you wish. I need some ale. Never had. Oh, I found him. I found this ring in the mine. It has an inscription inside of it. Do you know anyone who could have lost it? Let me think. Ah, uh, yes, a couple that lives just past the tavern on the, this side of the river. Uh, thanks. Okay, I rested for eight hours so I can uh, identify these other items here. What's this? Oh, I didn't need to rest for this. Scimitar plus one. The long curved single. Okay, so it's a, it's a magical. Or it's a plus one. Anything that's plus one is great. Uh, no one uses scimitars though, so we'll just sell it. We have here boots, boots of avoidance. This gives you uh, elves' bane. An infam infamous highwayman in his day, Pandar of Scardale made quite a name for himself, vexing the elves from uh, of Cormanther Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law, and with the aid of these boots, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but effective substitute. This gives you plus four AC versus missile, so not AC in general. But uh, let's, let's give it to our main guy. He doesn't have boots on, and he can wear boots actually. Plus four versus missile. Doesn't update his AC here though. But it's okay. It gives you plus four versus missile. Uh, you know. It's... Anyway, spell book here. The spell book of Nimble. What do we get? So this will give me two two spells. Nice. Or three spells. She doesn't have any of these. These are way above her though. Simple spell matrix. Simple spell matrix. That's the sequencer, isn't it? No, isn't that like a higher than the sequencer? And of course, when you learn spells, people get experience in the party, which is cool. Is this another spell book? Oh, we have two spell books. Who is this? Spell book of Kobold Shaman. Oh, Chromatic Orb and Lightning Bolt. Okay. That call. I need the mail. That's a bunch of new spells. That's cool. They're all pretty high level though, from what I can do. I need more level two spells. Okay. Um. So, we just cleared out the mines. We have to investigate uh, some leads we got in the bandits. But we have some other quests here that we can do, of course. Uh, we found some ring in the mines belonging to some woman. Yo. 
I guess she lives on this side of the river. Oh, oh, it's this poor lady here whose house we broke into. And I guess her husband died. Oops. Sorry, your husband's dead. Who says what? Can I help? Night singer. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. What you want? I think this is a woman's house. We found the ring in the mines. And so it's probably her dead husband. Hello there. You're back. What happened? Did you find Joseph? We found this green stone ring. But I'm afraid we think he's dead. He's dead. My Joseph is dead. My condolences, good woman. I know how much it hurts to lose your beloved. I wish I could offer you more than words. Sob. Aw, she's crying. Um. <laughs> so, this is the best game ever. So, you can either say, we're very sorry for your pain. Here, have this ring to remember him with. Or you can say, yep, and we're taking his ring as payment for telling you the bad news. Bye now. <laughs> Um, we're very sorry for your pain. Here, have this ring to remember him with. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me the news. No, that's mean. I'm, I'm good aligned. Hey, Penguin. I can't do it. I could do it if I was evil. But I'm not. Hello there. I am. Hello. I'm Omni. A kin Katana Kinsai warrior who's neutral good. I'm listening. Get some experience for it at least. Can we talk to the kids? Where's the kids? Let's talk to the girl. I didn't know you could actually talk to him. I'm waiting for daddy to come home and tuck me in. He's sure to be here soon. He can't stay in the mines forever, can he? So we can just say, your dad will be probably be coming back soon. Don't you worry, or the reason he's not coming home is because he's dead, kiddo. He's mulched, deceased, expired, kicked the bucket, bought the farm, croak. <laughs> oh my God. What do I want to do? This game is the best dog. Do you want me to say that or should I be nice? I can't do it. This isn't doing anything, I'm sure, but I can't do it. I didn't know you could ever talk to the girl. It's a kid. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be nice. Your dad will probably be coming home back soon. Don't you worry. I really hope so. I miss him so much. Isn't there another kid? Wait, is this the other kid? Sleep Why is there a sleeping woman in here? Oh, maybe there's just one kid. I thought I saw another kid in here. Hmm. All right, uh, there's another quest that we kind of got here, sort of. Remember, they're talking about like there's ghosts on the bridge at nighttime. It's nighttime, so let's see if there's any ghosts on the bridge. Oh, there's a ghost on the bridge, Hanley. You always come. No matter how many times I see people like you, it always ends the same way, with loneliness. Why would you come? What are you, some kind of ghost? I am surprised that you're still here. Most run away, or they try to banish me, pretending that I'm a demon. They throw rocks at me and call on the names of Merkel, Lathander, Helm, or Agma. My name is Hanley. Hanley Donlip the Damned, cast away from the western riverside. Um, he sounds kind of strange, you know, but at least he didn't jump at us with some claws and stuff. Go on, ask what he's doing here. If you want us to understand your situation, you need to be more clear. What do you mean that you're cast away from the western riverside? I died here, just near the river, more than a hundred years ago. I lived nearby. I was young and fell in love with a girl. She had a beautiful name, almost as beautiful as her lips and skin, Yvonne. Ah, so much time has passed, but I still remember the sweet scent of her skin and the aroma of her blonde hair. She loved me too. We would always meet near the river. We would touch, kiss, taste each other as if we were the sweetest and most forbidden of all goods. We would make love. Oh, man. But one night she wasn't there. I started to look for her. It was winter. We were to go somewhere together, somewhere where we could enjoy our time. Then I saw her. 
She was running on the opposite riverside. I saw something behind her. I saw beasts of fur and claws, dreadful hounds, wolves that found their prey. I shouted. I wished to save her. We met on the bridge. She was wounded. I wanted to carry her away, but I was too tired already. Then she lied to me. Lied that she never loved me. That I should leave her. That I was nothing but a foolish boy. What? I thought we could save ourselves if we jumped into the water. That we could swim away. That the wolves would lose our scent. But we died in there. She lost too much blood. I froze to death. Having heard this story, I must admit I can't do nothing but weep for thy feet, ghost. But even though we are dead, we can't be together. She is bound to the other side of the river. I can't leave the side. We are cursed. How is that possible? We are cursed. I can never feel her. I can't feel her presence just as that day the wolves couldn't catch her scent once we fell into the water. And she, she can never say the truth. She can only lie. And we are bound to our riversides. There must be a way to end this. Why? Why would someone alive waste time on the dead? Why would you waste your time in the ashes? A good question, Omni. Why waste spend our precious time on this nonsense? <laughs> um, your state doesn't matter. You suffer. You spent years without your love. I don't want you to feel the pain any longer. That's generous. I think I know a way to end it. I can't cross the bridge. But if you take part of me to her, that may break the barrier. This very small part of me will become a key. Please, take my smoking pipe. It was always my lucky charm. It deserves to become the key. Uh... <laughs> um, I don't want to. Why didn't you throw it to the other side? I couldn't. Another must join us. There is a key, but it's useless without the turn key. Take it to Yvonne. Okay, I guess I'll... I'll help end your curse, because I'm a good guy. Where's Yvonne? There she is. Is she crazy? I don't want to see him. I want him to never come back. I talked to your beloved. I know that you have to lie. You want to reunite with him. No, you're wrong. It's not a curse. He doesn't love me. Hanley, he would leave me here so I could never rest. Maybe maybe she's telling the truth. Maybe he just wants to get to you. What do you guys think? Should we should we just should we go with what he says and uh, oh, she's she's cursed to always lie or maybe he's an abusive like boyfriend who killed her and now he's trying to haunt her in the afterlife. How do we decide? How do we decide? I don't know, actually. <laughs> Alright, do a coin. Yeah, do exclamation mark flip for me. I can't. In the chat. He heads will mean we'll, uh, heads and then we give it to her. And then tails and we will believe her. Or a coin? Sorry. Um, so heads, we're going to give it to her. Okay. He gave me this thing. Please take it. It should help you. You'll be able to meet him again. It's... Hanley, the curse is over. Finally, I can finally meet you, feel you, touch and taste. It took us so long. I can finally speak the way I want. I lied so many times. Oh, okay. It wasn't an abusive relationship. I thank you, Avengers. You saved us. We can't do much to aid you, but please take this pebble from the river. It may protect you. Keep it close to your heart. Goodbye. We can finally rest together. Come, my love. What did I get? What is this? Ghost stone? The small stone was given to you by the ghost Hanley and Yvonne when you reunited them. It has been worn smooth and featureless by the water's flow. and feels comfortable when held in the hand. Well, I have to identify it. I, I'm out of identifiers? Fuck! We have to rest to identify it. Alright, well... Hello. Who's this guy? Newber, what is he doing here? Hey. What happened to your voice? Croak. Wait, I've never done this before. This is an annoying guy. I've never talked to him ever again. Croak, croak, cough. The river thrown into? Ah, you were thrown into the river by the town's youth and probably got a heavy cold afterwards. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. What, is it a quest for them? <laughs> a warm place for Newber? We have a new quest. Newber got a heavy cold after being thrown into the river. He needs a warm place to rest and recover, and ideally somebody who, wants, who takes care of him too. But he doesn't seem to have a place. Maybe I can warm the hearts of the townspeople in his favor. I've never done this before. I've never seen this before. He's always content. How many, how many times have I play this? There'll be new things to find out. Um, I don't know who I would talk to, though. Who, oh, maybe the woman here? I don't know. She seemed nice. I don't know. <laughs> Mrs. Blackwood? I mean, I have no idea. Hey, friend. I couldn't help but overhear your sign. You, it seems you need someone who would babysit your children, don't you? Well, yes, that is actually true. Uh, you see, I have a very important appointment where I most surely can't take any children along. You aren't asking because you know someone appropriate by any chance. Um, 
Maybe I could take care of your children? No, but if I meet someone, I'll let you know. Maybe, maybe new, maybe Newber can take care of the kids. He's like dumb. He won't do anything. I don't know. Maybe not a good idea. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Guess not. Wait, so we have to find a babysitter. Okay. Well. I don't know who could be a babysitter. Well, I want to identify this uh, thing. So now there's no more time lim limits in the game. We aren't rushed to go anywhere, so I can take my time doing optional stuff. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be doing a lot of... Uh, we'll see if we get to the main quest at all, but... We're just going to be dicking around. We're going to be dicking around with our dicks. Why, why is there always combat music in here? There's always combat music in the Zen. Oh, we'll ask him about Newbern a bit. Newbern has a heavy cold. Uh, would you take him in and see to a proper recovery? Well, my rooms are warm and cozy, but I threw Newbern out more than once because my customers felt pestered by him. So I'm glad he doesn't have the amount of gold it would take to afford a room, if you understand. Okay. It doesn't like travel. Oh, we have a bunch of other things to ID, too, like this ring right here. This is a very tricky ring, though, if I remember correctly. Ghost Stone. The user becomes blurred. That's really good. This ability may be used once per day. I forget what blurred does exactly. Can I use it? Wait, it's a fucking ring or something? Okay. Um. Uh, blur. What is it to? Uh. Oh, well, I'll read it later. Makes it too hard to hit, yes. So that's all you need to know, but. It makes you harder to hit. So it's good for our, our tank guy. Who can't. So this is a ring of nim nimbleness. The famous bard named Gregor. We got this from Molinay. He dropped it. The, the the chapter boss of the mine. A famous bard named Gregorio was the last known owner of this ring. Its outstanding qualities contributed to the bard's success during his renowned performances until one sad day when a heckler expressed his differences of artistic opinion by severing Gregorio's fingers. The ring, however, has outlived its owner and is sought by those who whose craft demands nimble hands and whose ego is unburdened by perfectionism. So this gives you plus two dexterity, which is really good. Obviously, I'm going to raise the stats. But if I think correctly, I think this might be from the Cursed Items mod. And the Cursed mod, Items mod is fucking evil. Like, it, do, it does give you two dexterity, but it also does some evil fucking shit when you put it on. And it doesn't tell you what it is. And a lot of times there's things that are really hard to figure out. Like, it gives you plus two dexterity, but it lowers, like, your, like, chance to hit by, like, like, like fucking 90%. And you're like, why can't I hit anything? I think this is a Cursed Item. So, I don't trust it. Well, in fact, is it from the Cursed Item mod, though? If I put it on, is it... There's a few kind of... There's ones that, are like, hide and they don't tell you the cursed items, but let's put it on and see what happens. No, no, it's a... It's a cursed item. Or it, it's, okay, it doesn't auto-curse. It might be from that. It has to be. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Like, if I put it... Oh, I can't use it. Why can't I use it? Why can't I use it? Who can use it? He can't use it either. Or him. Aha! Only mages can use it? Yeah, okay. I remember this fucking- this is an evil cursed item. It's so evil because when you identify something, it's supposed to tell you everything it does. But what this does is this gives you uh, a small innate uh, spell failure chance. It's so fucking evil. And you would never- it's impossible to know. I'm pretty sure I remember it. So you have like a 15% chance of failing your spells or whatever. It's so evil. Anyway. That's a really evil fucking mod. I forget the name of it. But I've I've learned I've learned what that is through pain and suffering. All right. Um. What did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to do a side quest that I always miss whenever I play the game. Okay, let's go do it. Oh. Um. Yeah. I think it's on the Nashville mine map. I think it's near the bottom. N not in the mines, but on the outside of the mines. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Exp I don't explore this area that much ever. Let's go explore it a bit.
Ah! I don't know if there's any fights here. Let's assume there's fights. So, yeah, I never explored this map, so I don't know what's here. We're exploring now, guys. Oh, what's this? This looks suspicious. Who is this guy? Prism? I remember Prism. Yeah, I always miss this guy. And Isra, are you from, she's from a mod and she's gonna fuck up this encounter, isn't she? All right, let's talk to Prism. Can I help? What are you saying? Ah, oh, beauteous creature. You are my masterpiece. Never should I have stolen these emeralds, but there was nothing else that would capture the majesty of thine eyes. I did what must be done. Maybe she's never mind. No, she, I think she. But for I have left my shop, forgotten all my commissions, and I've spent all that I had. I must complete thee. Prison, calm yourself yep. a moment. There's someone else here. She's from a mod. Um, hi Ezra. So how does this mod change his encounter? He is not from a mod. He's a base. Oh, so there is. Twas that relentless Grey Wolf who sent you, wasn't it? I have nothing to do with the, anyone named Grey Wolf, nor would I want to. Thank to Nier, I had no wish for my foolishness to result in bloodshed. Though surely Grey Wolf will come seeking the bounty on the gem soon enough. Aye, when he does come, my lord, I would know whether you mean to stand with or against us. Please help guard this place. I would rather the burden of my folly not fall upon the Lady Isra alone. I will pay with my last possessions if you would do this one service for me. <laughs> Perhaps you should fear me more than Grey Wolf. Perhaps I'm seeking the bounty as well. You already have enough help? Let's just say we'll help him. I thank you, for I cannot run from this place until my task is done. I have been using potions to speed date my work, and I have not slept for days. She's beautiful, is she not? Tis a monument to my foolishness. I saw her but once on the outskirts of Evereska and said nothing. I let thee pass through mine eyes, and mine heart hath cursed me for it. Uh oh, what's this? Oh no. Is this one guy? There's one guy here. Uh oh, you can't get to him. Oh. Cross Grey Wolf and live. I've come for you, Prism. No, not yet. My work is nearly done. Please, I implore you. Your sentiments wasted on me, fool. You are but gold in my purse. Do you make your situation worse by hiring more help? I heard of the Ruby Rose girl, but who are these f other fools? See, this is why we always have to have room in our party for one person. Like, which we don't really have room in our. I mean, we could get rid of Kavan. Um. We needed a. We should have looked at the. I should load. I should have made a save before the chapter ended, so I could look at it. Cause you can look, you can look at chapter damage stats. I'm curious who does the most damage in my party and stuff. Um. Cause then like when you a lot of a lot of the mods and the quests added by mods, which a lot of them I haven't done ever yet, they have them in your party. It they come in the form of having an NPC in your party. Yeah. But I didn't make a save, so it's, it gets reset at the start of a chapter. It just shows you chapter totals. Prism wishes only to finish his masterwork. Why not let him? What harm can it do? You should be more worried about the harm I can do. Never have I taken a bounty and not delivered. Now stand aside that I might dispense with this fool and claim my prize. Or would you rather I go through you to get him? Consider well if you be worth your lives. Uh oh, okay. Right now I have to fight him. Uh -oh. So I, this guy, I'm sure he's not going to be, but I have to get my people away from him. So he's a potion of freedom. Yes. He kind of hurts. Uh, uh, like Minsk is o Minsk is almost dead. Oh, well, hopefully this. Let's heal Minsk real quick, and then hopefully he doesn't die. Badly injured. What, what did he hit Minsk with? 
He hit mints with just a 12. Damn. He rolled a 17 first. Oh no, he's drinking a potion of hill giant strength. That's not good. We No guys, don't miss him now. He needs to die now or Minsk is dead. He needs to die now. Oh, thank God. Okay, we got him. Minsk rolled a 19. Nice job, Minsk. Last, my work is complete. Take what you will from my possessions, but leave the sparkle in her eyes. Oh, sweet creature, my effigy to thee is done. Perhaps our paths shall cross in distant realms, and I shall find the courage to call thy name. Elisi me. Uh, oh, that's a. That's a. Uh, that's a. Uh, it was 19 year old. Uh, naturally 20. It was. Um, this is a foreshadow for Baldur's Gate 2. Elisi me, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so, uh, wait, Prism just died. Wait, why did he die? A shame it could not have a better ending. At least he completed what he f felt he must. A happy result of sort. He just died from, like, exhaustion or something? Okay, let's see what these guys have on them. And then this lady is going to want to talk to me and do her quests and stuff, but I don't have room in my party for her. Ooh. Or maybe she's not trying to talk to me. Here's Grey Wolf stuff here with a bunch of magical items that I can't automatically identify, which is fucking annoying. These are fire arrows. I guess I can use them without identifying them, though. These are nice arrows. Those are really nice arrows. Um, we're running out of arrows. Here's a potion that I probably can't identify. Potion regeneration. Ooh. That's good. Gives you some regen. This is a potion of hill giant strength. Gives you 19 strength. Which is more than normal that you can normally have. This is a longsword plus one. Nobody uses longswords though. So. Alright. What do you want? I bow to you with respect, Master Artist. You this guy who wrote the mod for Kivan, does he have to say a fucking novel after everything that happens? You have bonded to a woman you were not destined to know. Your love was a light, bright, and pure, which shall shine. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try to read the mod dialogue today, though. You gave birth to the thing of beauty, as immortal as the model herself. Fuck, shut up! I know she's quiet, but it's because the this is a mod. I should thank you for your assistance, my lord. Would that we had been able to save more than just his legacy. You are a paladin, right? Hmm. I mean, I would like to see if these guys have quests and stuff, but I don't have room in my party. And usually in these games, if you if you don't take them on, they're gone forever. My, I, might I ask who you are? Forgive me this discourtesy. I am Isra Gadir, most recently of Krimor. A pal Wait, women can't be paladins? Can they? No. Oh. I mean, in some D&D &D campaigns, again. I mean, in some places, they can't. A paladin of the Lady Fire. I guess they can uh, for kind of realms or something. What, what am I thinking of? There's some There's some uh, game where you, you have to be a dude. Or no, it's human. You have to be a human. Sorry. That was a weird thing about paladins, is that they'd be human. It's like, why can't other ones be paladins? It's not, it's not the women thing, it's the... It's, it's the uh, human thing. Um, an esquire in the ho Order of the Ruby Rose, because faith. Well, you'll see an example that challenges your preconceptions here in Baldur's Gate. Well, Baldur's Gate 2, not Baldur's Gate 1. The Church of Sun Sune sponsors any number of artists, and when we received word of Prism's disappearance, I was asked to look into matters. He was a talented and much-loved artist before this madness took hold of him. Unfortunately, I was initially unaware of the legal complications involved, and by the time Prism admitted to his theft, there was little that could be done to discourage the bounty hunters long enough to set the situation straight. Be careful that you happened by when you did, my lord. Might I ask what draws you to this area? We uh, just finished clearing out the mines nearby. I see. I did not realize the situation had finally been resolved, though I am glad to hear otherwise. But I shouldn't keep you any longer, my lord. Good day, and she just leaves? Is it because I have a full party? Bye! I will never know what... Yeah, I guess so, Inky. Alright, let's see what the prism drop dropped. Oh, what is this? Oh, he was carving this here. Ellis see me. Which is an important character in the next game. It's kind of interesting. Um, I think it's Ellis see me. What did he drop? Ooh, does he have another gem bag? He has another gem bag. Man, I shouldn't have bought my fucking gem bag that I had.
I feel dumb spending the money on the gem bag now. Is that all you had? I'm I don't know, honestly, I guess I'm just uh, guessing and talking out of your ass. Yeah, it makes sense, I guess, but why can't, you I mean, they have faith too, and like, why can't, why can only humans be paladins? Only humans should be paladins. This is a this is a post in the WoW message boards. Most people stop playing WoW because of flying mounts, lack of world PvP, etc. I stopped playing because Blizzard destroyed the lore and gave the ability to cows, blood elves, and space goats to become paladins. What a joke. The Knights of the Silver Hand won the Second World War against orcs and a scourge that saves Azeroth, only to be humiliated later by Blizzard writers. Also, I don't like that there are dwarf paladins. Paladins are holy warriors that don't drink, don't smoke, and live with dignity. Dwarves drink two gallons of beer per day. <laughs> wow. Level 60 human paladin. The light doesn't care about what you eat or drink. How would you know? You are a priest. Wait, are they being serious? I think gnomes should be paladins. Weren't dwarves some of the original paladins accompanying Uther? Why is it always a male human paladin that posts dumb stuff like this? Why are they undead only human? Yeah, um, of course in D&D, &D, you can have undead, whatever. Uh, but usually they always appear to be human, right? I'm trying to think of instances in my Baldur's Gate where there's undead. It probably is. But yeah, you're right. Oh, wow, too. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah, you have the undead rate. Well, the, the undead and the Forsaken are weird. I don't, I don't remember their story. But I want to know the general. Why? Why, why is it de default to World of Warcraft? I'm talking about D and D here. I don't care about World of Warcraft. D and D. It wasn't until fifth edition of Paladin it didn't have to be human. I don't know what the reason is for it. I know, pallies. Everybody hates them pallies. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we were actually, uh, there's actually a bounty on these. These were stolen, so are we gonna, are we gonna remove the gemstones from here? Let's see. Wait, they're locked? Yep. Alright, alright. I think you're meant to, uh, you have to use your weapon on them. But does that does something bad happen if you right. you were bored by it? Wait, how do you open up these gems? I don't understand. There, there might be a bug here. Uh, so I'm seeing how you normally. I bet that mod fucked it up. That's my guess. No one has this issue. Wait. Or did I get them? Are they in my backpack? Wait, are they in the gym bag? Where did the gym bag go? Is 
They're not in the gym bag. <laughs> I don't understand this. The light, it burns. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm a little concerned here that we have a mod here that may, might have fucked up uh, this. I don't. I mean, I I don't know, and I can't find anything online. Um, oh fucking a, Omni. Oh, let me do it this way. All right, with the uh, prism. Collect his emeralds and then return to Old Black. How are you supposed to collect his emeralds? Like, it's a bug here. Like, they're locked. I can't collect them. Uh, I prefer the bright of day. Evil must be able to so, see the justice I dispense. So, this is why, this is my crusade against the fucking, the fucked upness of some of these mods here. Wait, did she take the mods? Did she take the mods? Wait, did she, she took them? That bitch took them? Hold on. Like, who the fuck did this person who wrote this mod gets off? Oh, let's see here. Did you take them? Like, where are the fucking emeralds? So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, investigate this here. So, um... Let's look for fight. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna look and see who we were talking to. Could you stop updating the goddamn console? And uh, her name was Isra. Isra what? Isra Gadir Isra. Okay, so we're gonna fix this bug. I mean, there's a bug here. Like you're supposed to be able to get the gems from that thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up the. Uh... I'm gonna look up the mod that Isra's from, and then I'm gonna see what changes Isra, uh, that mod did. Um, first, I want to see what changes they made to the area that they're in, and uh, I want to see if it fucked it up. So Isra. So it looks like uh, the prefix is RH or something. Of course, there's multiple Isras. All right, uh, that's her. I don't think this is the her we're looking for. Okay, this looks like... Mask evil? So why does she not want to talk to me? I'm very curious here. Like, why did she leave? Wait a second, because it flagged me as evil. That's why she left. I should thank you for your assistance. With that, we have been able to save more than just his legacy. Yeah, then she probably offers to join you. See? Oh, yeah. oh never mind. Yeah, we were able to say this. She just leaves without being able to talk to her. How do you get her to join uh, me? Okay. Anywho, uh, this is from the RH uh, prefix here, so. Is it gonna be like that now? Oh boy. Fucking great. 
So let's look at like let's look at uh, let's find out what I think you can I think you can use uh, I don't know if you can use this to figure out where the mod came from. Uh, we'll see. But I'll use Wadey, which is the package manager, basically. Change log, and then rh pound isra. I don't know if it will tell you what added it though, which is annoying. No, it doesn't tell you what added it. <laughs> it's just fucking annoying. It just tells you what fucked with it. Um, but uh, one of the guys is Prism, right? Prism? Now, this mod clearly fucks a Prism, right? That added it? Prism. Okay, it's Prism. So let's see what mods fucked with Prism. So it lost items. Prism and the Emeralds tweak? What the hell is that? Prism and the Emeralds tweak. Unfinished business. Wonder what that is. Wait, so I don't see it. Okay, well something fucked with his dialogue. I guess it didn't change his character, but it fucked with his dialogue, right? So we should see there. And we should look at that we should look at that tweak real quick. That's the unfinished business mod. Which like it's, it was supposed to restore like cutting room content. Shit was like removed or didn't wasn't finished, you know, on ship when the game was released. Okay, the the, uh, the mod's called Isra. Okay, um, so we'll look at that here. Uh, but I guess I do want to look at the uh, the unfinished business. Now, what was the component that fucked with him? Oh fuck you! I don't want to scroll up for this piece of shit. Oh come on, you piece of shit. Come on! What? Oh. All right. Um, it was so the, we think the component number. The component number is twenty-eight. Uh, for so here's the component number. Well, now we can just look at the documentation, you know. But I don't want to. Um, oh, AB Prism Emeralds. What did this do? These files are weird. So let's look at the backup files. This is usually how you look at changes. Uh, it backs up everything before it changes it. And so the component was 28, right? So this is the unfinished business mod. Here's the backup file. Um, so it made changes to Prism. It made changes probably to the area that they're in. That's what I want to look at here. So this is the previous area right here. Um, I guess I should maybe like see what the what the tweak is that they're talking about. Um, BG1 unfinished business um, prism tweak. Where's the documentation? Oh come on! Well, there's probably documentation here. Uh, Prism. Where is it? Uh, let's see. The new component was provided by Plane AB. It fixes, it fixes the exploit to being able to turn in Prism Emeralds one at a time by making them unique items. It provides new options to obtain emeralds. It provides split rewards if the player is only able to obtain one of the emeralds. It puts the emeralds in the sculptor's eyes if Prism finished it. Ah, uh, okay. So this is, this is responsible for our problems. What does that mean, though? If they're in the eyes, what does that mean? Can you, like... What does that mean? See, like... Uh, What are these bath files again? So he put the, so if if died while blue circle and gems are not put in the eyes. So the, the gems are in the eyes. Does that mean I can't get the gems? Or what? 
Jim's truly gone. Oh, I get, <laughs> there's a variable introduced here called Jim's truly gone. Does that mean, so, well, no. No, that means, oh, that, that okay. So I, uh, I can't get the gems back to turn them in because he put them in the eyeballs? Hmm. Or is there a way to do that? Well, that, mean, that means truly gone from his inventory. I think you, if you pickpocket them. Wait, unlock. See, look. If dead prism. See, it's supposed to unlock them so you can loot them. If dead prism global ABGF Gemini is zero. So this has to be zero. Then it unlocks them. Then you can take them from the eyeballs. Wait, when is that zero? Wait. So is this supposed to go off and it didn't? I don't really understand. Yeah, there should be a way to take it. So why is it locked? This is confusing to me, like these files here. We should probably look and see, um, we don't know where this BAF goes off. It might go off in the area script. So the area is AR4400. Let's see if it goes off in the area script. Every area has its own script that goes off constantly. I don't know if it, it might, I mean, it might add it to Prism himself. We don't know where these are getting added. Yeah. Um, here it is. Ooh, what is M? So I don't see it here. What about, um, fuck off. Uh, characters also have their own scripts. So, um, oh, ABGF prism. Okay. Uh, wait here. If allegiance myself enemy. If die? So this must not be zero. Um, so we can figure out what that variable is. ABGF Gemini. Can you guys remember? Uh, I don't remember what the fucking thing is. Get global? I don't remember what it is. I'm gonna do it a different way too. Okay, ABGF Gemini. ABGF Gemini is set to one. Okay. When does it get set to one? How does it get set to one? This one sets it to three. This one sets it to three. This one sets it to one. I don't know where this script goes. This sets it to one. This sets it to one. If opened anyone. What? What do you mean if opened anyone? What is this? A, B, T, or T, R, P. A, B, I, T, R, P. I don't know what that is. It's a, pr this is a script being used by somebody. If opened anyone. What? Wait a second. 
It's supposed to remove one reputation from me if you take the, the emeralds. So this must be for the like a, a, a ch uh, the chest or the container, right? And he, why does it keep on going back to? Wait, where's the area that I held open? You're gonna make me go to the fucking area again? I don't remember what the area is. How does that get lost? I hate like history that gets lost like that. Always fucking happens. All right, like what's what's on this map here? This is some container here. Here, here. a six statue, left eye, a six statue. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So this is the script that goes off with, with in the in the eyeballs that you click on. If opened anyone, it sets. Wait, this looks completely different from. <laughs> what changed this? See, some mod changes looks completely different. It's supposed to set it to. So this is. I don't understand this, man. Broke into? This is so complicated just for this little thing here. Well, let's see what modified this script file here. This, uh, this ABI TRP, which is like the, uh, thing that contains the, uh, those emeralds. This is what I get for never doing something, because it's bugs. This is what I had to do for, like, a lot of the game. Is this what you're seeing for, like, for each fucking thing. Some mod probably fucked it up in some weird way. Or unless I'm being dumb and I don't understand something. Nothing, nothing changed. That's not true though. It got changed by... That's not true. This changes it. What are you talking about? Uh, that history got lost, I guess. That's fucking weird. ABGF Gemini. If Prism's dead and it's set to zero, how does it get set to one? I don't get it. Then it unlocks them and then you can loot them. What is this though? This, this destroys the items though. What? If that's set to zero. All right. Um, <laughs> what is this one? Come on. ABITRP. There's a short bow plus one on this map? Rare. Where's the short bow plus one? Hi guys. So there's something weird going on here. I don't understand why it doesn't... Uh... Let's look back at... Let's look back at Prism. What other scripts does he have? What's this? Let's see if this sets any of the fucking... Uh... So I wanted to see if these any of these set the uh, those variables we're looking at like Gemini, the gem in the eye. I mean, is it because we don't have the bounty? What, what is it? What am I looking at here? All global, right? I bounty. Maybe.
This sets it to one here. This is what sets it to one, the dialogue. Well, this destroys the the gems. No, this enables container enable. That's not good enough. It needs to also unlock them. The scripture's bad. Right? Container enable? I mean it I mean, maybe. Is this Oh, this removes the emeralds in inside his pockets. Right? Yeah. And they're they're instead they're in the statue now. That's what this does. But this just enables a container. It says this to one here. But you should be able to loot them. And but it never unlocks it. So um I wish I could have two opens at once for fuck's sake. Hold on. AR. So I don't know what mod fucked this up, but like it doesn't seem to make any sense. Um don't look at that. Don't, 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 don't. Like. Right. So, it needs to unlock them, but it doesn't unlock them. Like, this check here, I don't know about this check. It should unlock them anyway. Yeah. But why is it destroying the emeralds, though? If it's zero. I think we need to add a fix for this. I mean... How do they get destroyed? I think this must be maybe if you let Grey Wolf come there? I don't know. Or we can do a fix here where we just we make sure when we do container enable, we also unlock it. Or wait, but it gets locked. It starts off locked, right? It must. Right, so how many of these are we looking at? Um How many, how many actions are there? Um, Jesus, there's so many things that fucking potentially destroy shit. Oh, this unlocks it here. Well, what uses this? <laughs> what uses action two? How do I figure that out? I don't remember. Uh, response nine uses it. Well then what, how do we get here? State three? State three. Oh, okay, you only do this if you say your Grey Wolf sent you, right? And uh, once you kill him, it'll uh, unlock the statues and then destroy the, why is it destroying the emeralds inside the statues? I don't really get that at all. Oh, because because he has them on his person, that's why. Okay. Isn't this more interesting? Like, we're, uh, you know, we're not just doing weird binary level head at anywhere edit or changing game stuff. Maybe it's a little easier to understand, right? Or is it? I don't know. Um, you guys like games? Twitch doesn't like games, by the way. All right. That's what I've found out. Twitch don't like games. Like escaping reality. It's all about take up drugs. They work too. All right, it can be hard to get though. Uh, so it looks like it. This will destroy the the items in his backpack. It'll unlock. It'll make them containers. Here, so then you should be able to loot them though. But they must start off locked though. Yeah, they do start off locked. Um, why? So you have to talk to him maybe first. Wait, what does what does container enabled? What does true do? Does true mean does true mean unlock? Oh. Container enable. What is that? Are you fucking kidding me? There's no matches. Are you kidding me here? What does it what does the parameter do? So 
So true means enable. Oh, and then false means disable. All right, gotcha. So we need to unlock it too, though, I think here, right? Let's see what, it, okay. So, but what, how do we get to action six? Where's my reference window? Come on. Not that, dumbass. Response five? What? Response 15. This doesn't look like response 15 to me. All right, see you, Anki. I'll be okay here by myself. <laughs> Maybe someone will have some courage while you're gone. That was safe lock. Oh, this is response 15, okay. So this is what goes off when you... So we've been doing this for 20 minutes already. All right, so we'll fix this one here. I hope I hope I have a save before all this. So we can test this. I don't think I do though. I think I saved. All right. So I think I need to unlock it here, right? Or how do I unlock? It just unlocks it here, but it also destroys it. So we just do unlock ace. We just do this two stuff to unlock unlock those eye containers. I think I'm gonna do that here then. Hopefully it doesn't fuck anything up. Where is it? So I'm just gonna do this. Unlock. All right, uh, what else though? And sorry, what trigger is this? Does it really lose what trigger this is? I have no idea what I just edited. I mean, fucking kidding me? It's fucking terrible. Action six. Does it not scroll the action? Okay, great. Um, here it is. Oh, this unlocks it here. This destroys them though. So that's for some other outcome. Oh, here's another one though. So whatever, we need to make sure it's in this one too. This is so complicated, just for one little thing. All right, that's it. Um, all right, let's see if it works correctly now. However, we're not gonna actually end up doing it because uh, I think you lose a reputation every single time you loot something. Is this before we talk to him? No, this is after we talk to him. We're gonna have to load up an auto save. What are we so that's a bug, see, that's an example of fixing bugs. Um, all right, so I'll have to do it again. Oh, what are we just doing? Over here since we've been here. All right. All right, we have to kill that guy again, then, though, unfortunately. Wait, what the fuck? No, no, no. I want to do prism. Look, uh, I'm trying to test out a change. I did so. There he is. It burns! 
Uh -huh. Cool. But kicking for uh, goodness. No thing, boy. Ah, beaut. Prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. I already did this. Just testing out a bug, bug fix. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Okay. Huh, you're a clear class. He one shot me. I need aid soon. One shot me. I'm listening. Whatever you say. Ah, uh, beautiful prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Whoa. Yes. You're a queer fellow. Hopefully, doesn't one shot me. <laughs> Quite annoying because I uh, we're just testing a bug fix, so now we're dying all the time. Should give you appreciation of how difficult these encounters are. So you smoked them the first time. I'm not over reacting when I go, whoa. Anyway. I'm listening. What are you doing? Ah, beauteous creep prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's but I don't want to, like, uh, kill. Auto kill because I won't get the experience if I. Oh, fuck. I did the wrong one. I did the wrong one. I'm just annoyed now. None cross great. I'm listening. Whatever you say. Ah, prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Oh, I drank the wrong potion. Oh, he has freedom cast. This is so, it shows you how hard these are, man. <laughs> I want to see if this bug fix worked. There's nothing I hate more than having to do something again. I like dying to something a thousand times, so I have to do it again after I beat it. Ugh. I'm listening. Hate it. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. So if he gets that freedom thing off, then whole person won't do anything. Uh, so it, I was like, why didn't I cast freedom that first time? Well, it, it doesn't even matter if he does. Let's see what he does. So he'll giant shrink. That means I can paralyze him. But it also means he can one shot me. Twenty four damage. Jesus fucking Christ. Let me save against it, of course. I really hate having to redo things, but it's okay. Let me just suffer in silence, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh. 
That scared the fuck out of me. Fucking assholes. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Sees that blur. Have at thee, ye Damn. thieving scoundrel. <laughs> You're a queer <laughs> fellow. <laughs> What does blur do? Wait, blur doesn't lower our AC? It does something though. I got one shot! I hate having to type all these. I mean, it's amazing. Of course, I think he's not here to see us. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Hey, what's up? Did you wake up? Hi, where are those smiley faces? Um, I just, uh, I summoned Lobo. He gotta do his thing, though. So, I, I, I reset the clock back to his normal time. So... Did I do Kai? Did I do a Kai? I don't know. Okay. It's probably gonna one shot me again. Finally, we got him. God, he was so hard that time. All right, this is where I want to test out the uh, changes. Can I not just... I'm not going to be able to save it, though. Well, let's see. So, hopefully I can loot these guys, then. Okay, we already read this. He died. Okay, he dies here. And these should be... An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story, and one I shall have to report back to my order as soon as possible. Wait. Yes. 
Hello. Okay, but I now I can't interact. I, I can't interact with them now. Ugh. This is gonna be a pain in the asshole. All right. What's up, Eve? I'm trying to fix a bug. Yeah, one of my mods has. I've never done this quest before, but uh, you're supposed to be able to um, loot the gems from that statue after he, you do this, so you can take the emeralds. Um, but uh, and they were locked, and that's supposed to be locked. You're supposed to be able to open up those statue eyeballs. But uh, I just made a change, so they should be unlocked now. But um, they're not. They're not. They're not even. They're not even uh, enabled as containers. So it's like, what the fuck happened? So. Anyway, how are you doing? Uh, so I'm gonna try, uh, um, I don't know, remove what I changed and I, you'd have to see it from the beginning. in here um this is what i added i added these two things here and here too i mean i don't really understand i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of the things that i added and it's gonna i don't understand why the containers weren't enabled and something else just go off if they're unlocked i have no idea i'm gonna remove what i added here we're just gonna fast kill him What are we just doing? Ah, oh, prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. Just gonna insta kill this guy so we can test. None cross Grey Wolf and live. <laughs> My work will be done. So he dies. Now I can loot them. What? Now I can loot them. See? I don't understand what, why unlocking them. Makes them unlootable. I don't really get that. Yes. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story, and one I shall have to report back to my order as soon. Ah, oh, the fuck. Container, container, enable. What the hell? Oh. Weird, huh? I'm shush. Could you fuck off, lady? Let's try again. Um, I'm trying to figure out which file is the one that's activated here. Ah, which which result? So. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Stupid. Soon, 
My work will be okay. Done. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. Yeah, now I can't interact with them An anymore. To a surprisingly convoluted story and one I shall have to report back to my order as soon as possible. Yes. I don't get it. What if I unlock them and then I mean is there another strip going off if they're unlocked? Who knows, man? I mean, we, okay, we can look at the uh, the script of this the of the of those containers going off. I mean, I didn't I don't remember seeing anything. Here's the statue left eye and right eye. <laughs> There's nothing that checks if it's unlocked, right? Just if it's opened. I guess I should, I should see uh, what the variable for the what. If they're in the eye, you know, in the save file. how complicated this is yeah they're in the eye right now it says they're in the eye but I can't fucking <sighs> it doesn't make any sense what if I put the unlock before the container enable how this shit works. What are these things? Ah, oh, beauty is great. Prism, calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. Lundcross Grey will have at thee. <laughs> Scoundrel. My work will be done. That was a noble deed. Oh, that fix it? That fixed it. So we had to put it before. All right. Shut the fuck up, woman. All right. Good. This is so weird, though. Why does unlocking it reset the container status? Unless this still is not going to work right, and it's because it's some weird race issue. Um. Okay. So this is propagated to over here as well. I don't know when this one goes off, but. All right, that fixes that bug then. So now we have to f beat the guy legitimately one more time. So we can uh, get the experience. Let's fight. Fun. Oh, fuck me. What are you saying? I don't remember. I wish I knew what blur does. This should increase my chances, though. Prison, Hopefully it works. After we beat him legitimately again, I'm gonna be pissed off. Alright, let's see what he opens up with. Hill giant strength so we can paralyze him. He's probably gonna one-shot me though. Hey, we nice. He's paralyzed. We win. And he missed me. When he attacked me. Soon. My work will be done. All right. Let's see if it worked. Good. Good. Yes. An unfortunate ending to a surprising okay. story and we fixed the bug. Really? Hmm. 
Oh, wait, we didn't actually test it yet, though. Ah, fuck you. They're called. Bitch, I'm busy. Um, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have made a save there. No, are you kidding me? How do I unlock? Are they not in there? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. I don't know what container enabled does, because, like, there's no fucking... Uh... There's no documentation. I mean, this documentation is pure poop. I assume container enable, like, in... Like... I don't understand how... I don't understand that. Wait a second. Wait. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? I thought I changed it so that um, the unlock happens before the enabled. I don't. I don't understand. I don't really understand what the fuck is happening right now. What? It's after. Well, then what locks it? I thought doing this disabled the fucking, uh, what, how is this possible, man? Is there something else that fucks with the, the, the containers? Uh, doesn't look like it. So you're not supposed to be able to get them. I don't really understand. It's supposed to be unlocked. <sighs> so confused. I'm beyond confused. I have to do that again. I saved though. No. Wait. What did you say? Um. I don't understand, like, does it say in the journal, like, what's supposed to have happened with this guy? I don't, I didn't see anything in the uh, quests. Um, he completed what he felt he must. Did he? I guess he completes it. But I'm supposed to be able to take from it, though. 
So I don't understand what, what's locking the fucking... What's locking it? Some script's locking it. I wonder if it's that Ishra bitch. I'm gonna be very pissed off if it's her fucking dialogue. She's added by a mod. Where's the fucking dialogue here? See, it doesn't load them all. Oh, weird. Alright. Action two, is this action two? <laughs> I'm just seeing if she, she fucks with it at all. If she takes the gemstones. I don't think she does. All right, she's clear. I really don't, I don't understand why they're locked here though. Like why spawn them as being locked? Something fucked with these. I don't understand why I can't unlock with the script. Where's Prism? Like, I could have some other ways to fix this, but I'm just a little pissed off that it... Trap, uh, lock difficulty 70. I mean, are you supposed to be able to, like, uh, pick it or something? It's trapped? Oh, it's trapped. What does that mean? What kind of trap? Oh, it's trapped like this. Wait, it's supposed to go off as a trap? <laughs> All right. This is a trap script. Break difficulty zero. What does that mean? So you're not supposed to loot it then. This is very confusing to me. Um. Not that, not that. What did Dark Horizons do to it? Wait, randomizer? <sighs> mm. So it, it acts as a trap.
Does it not usually do that? Hold on, let's look at the old version of the area file when, uh... <coughs> um... Before, uh, unfinished business fucks with it. I have it right here. Yeah. Oh, there's no eyeballs. So the, the unfinished business thing adds the whole eyeball thing. Like the eyeball container. Oh, maybe there's no eyeballs. So is it bugged then? I mean, this is a sort of well-known, uh... Some weird regarding, yeah, some weird behavior regarding Prism's emeralds. <laughs> Kill Prism, take the emeralds in his inventory. Oh. There's another issue too, which I can see it being an issue. Um. So originally there's no extra, I, there's no extra, so I guess it, this probably just adds that, uh, it's a weird way for it to work, man. It doesn't work in my game. So, I guess we'll have to... Maybe I can make it so you can break into them? I don't understand the whole trap thing, though. The trap thing is, I guess that's how you get a script to go off when it's, uh... Upon opening a, uh... A container. Like, the, the emeralds are still inside the container. So change that, that, that trap file won't go off, uh... I guess. So I don't know what to do here. When does this one go off? Prism uh, 15. Leave the sparkle in her eyes. And when, when does the other one go off? Response 20. As it has stolen mine farewell. Well, when does that go off? Maybe that's if you let, uh, I guess if you, um, so this, what, what makes this go off? State eight. Yeah, what, what makes it go off? Jesus Christ. Hold, you took my emeralds. This is all I had by that mod. They're gone? Uh, you took my emeralds. Give me the one you have, go get the other and bring it back. I must finish this epiphany. Oh, that's if you uh, pickpocket them. But why does it unlock it though? I don't really get it. No, this unlocks them and then it destroys them in there, so, okay. So. <laughs> so initially, is this enabled? It's disabled initially, yeah, and locked. I'm just trying to understand the intention of the mod author here. Like, uh, it's also not trapped. I mean, nothing happened when I clicked on it. If opened anyone? Yeah, so you're supposed to let you're supposed to allow him to finish his final masterpiece, and then you can take one of the emeralds outside of the out of the eye. Um
So yet again. The one that's going off though is the first one for us only. So I need to fix this here. I don't think there's anything that checks whether it's unlocked or not. Tainer enabled and um, I don't know. Let's look at the, the, the unlock command or something. See if there's something weird with that. Um, Baldur's Gate to scripting unlock. I mean unlock. Unlock just unlocks it. <laughs> I don't know what to... Sometimes we just do unlock. Can I comment out somehow? Okay, cool. Oops. Did I make a save? I'm listening. What are you say? It's kind of funny you can pickpocket him while he's working on this All thing. Right. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> Alright. So what did I do? I don't know what I did. I think it changes so it just unlocks. Yeah, you're supposed to be able to take them after he finishes them, so it's a bug. I was making sure that wasn't intended somehow. Alright. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So they're already enabled. Wait. Oh, they're not enabled yet. Soon. My work will be done. So he died. Obviously, they're, uh, I fucking wish you would die because you're annoying me. Alright, bye. Alright, I can't click on them. Alright. That makes sense. And then when I did this before... I mean, we'll do it. I still won't be able to click on them for some reason. Let's find out. What are we just doing? Oops. Ah, beauteous creature. Prison, calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Have at thee, <laughs> scoundrel. Soon, my work will be done. Wait, now my reputation went down. Oh, went up. I now one. I okay. remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. Yes. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story, and one I shall have to report back to my orders. Okay, so yeah, so they're not enabled. Like when I unlock them, I can't. I don't understand that. Like. Can't, I can't interface with them because of that unlock, right? Or no? What did I do? Yeah, like I'll I won't unlock the, the right one. Let's try that. But that unlock has nothing to do whether it enable or not. The pre the previous code is what enables it, so you can uh, interact with the containers. What are we just doing? Ah, prison, calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. 
None cross Grey Wolf and live. <laughs> My work will be done. Surface dwellers can be so stupid. So yeah, I can I can interface with this one now. I'm just I don't understand why unlocking it causes it to be disabled. Unless is there a container is there a container disable one? UG2 script container disable. No, there's no there's no container disable. Container enable. True, true. So it's not like it's locking it again after I do that. So like what? I'll unlock it here and then I'll enable them again? That just doesn't make any sense. Um, what are you saying? Ah, uh, prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Ah! My work will be done. The surface dwellers can be so stupid. Oh, that seriously? Did that seriously do it? That's a fix. It's so weird, though. No, no, I don't know. No, 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 yeah, they're still locked. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend, right, Boo? Now I remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. I mean, I, I feel <clears throat> upset that I, I don't know how to fix it code-wise. It's kind of lame, but um, I mean, we could try this. Uh, I mean, there's something I don't understand here, clearly. Let's fix this guy here. Somehow a container enable resets it. I don't understand, but okay. I can make it so I can break it. I mean, it makes more sense anyway since you're kind of like breaking it. Because it's like in there. I don't know if you can break it here. Um, I mean, uh, it says the break difficulty is zero, so I assume zero means you can't break it or something. And then, uh, hi. Okay. So Did I say this? Hi. So uh Ah, oh, beautiful prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. Still fixing this problem. Gray wolf and live. It's going all right. No one here really. Eve said dropped in. So, uh, this is going okay. Uh, I wish there were more people watching talk to me. That's about it though. Otherwise, I'm fine. Um, let's see. It's a little embarrassing to work on code issues and talk to yourself, and that's all. So I just feel a little embarrassed right now, but I'm doing good. That's my honest answer. Um, all right. Yep. Oh. Ah! Oh, yeah. My work will be done. All right. So they're enabled. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story. So I can't. I, I can't open. Shut the fuck up. So I can break it, though, right? Okay. Force the lock open. Oh, that makes sense. So you have to. So what does this do? Okay. I mean, that works for me. Um, I don't know how to unlock them. I mean, we can have it maybe spawn as a default as being unlocked. Maybe. Because it seems to be, it seems to, you know what, I think we're going to do that, actually. Yeah, the mod, yeah. Well, um, the, the unfinished business mod like changes it so like there, you, there usually is not any containers there. There's no eyeballs that you loot. You like you, you beat him or something, and then it adds the ability to, to take it after. Like we're not gonna even take the emeralds. Um, like 
like it was a mod that even added you the ability to take the uh, emeralds from the eyeballs. Um, if you let them finish it, you usually can't take it. So, and then I don't know if they just did it wrong or if something else broke it after that. Looks like it was just a bug with the mod itself, I guess. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's a it mod broke it, of course. So let's try this here. This might be an interesting experiment. It's just, it makes me a little flustered about because I don't understand some of the scripting things. I'm a little pissed off about that. Uh, locked. How do I make it so it's not locked? How do you make it so it's not locked? Like zero? It's still locked. How do you make it? It's trapped? No. Where's the lock thing? What? Locked. Yeah, the mod fucked up. Yeah, it's very complicated, but I don't understand. Where's the lock thing? Where's the flag that says whether it's locked or not? <laughs> oh, right here. Duh. Disabled. Okay, locked. So I'm going to make it so they're not locked because normally they're disabled. And, um, I mean, I don't really understand. There is a code here that, that only unlocks them. It, like for some reason I don't understand like if you like when you unlock when the unlock goes off it it, uh, it it disables the container which I don't understand um I don't get that so anyway um I guess it doesn't matter we'll move on uh let's have this guy okay now it's not locked anymore okay Let's test that real quick. Yeah, no, the script is it's pretty. You can get pretty. You can get pretty uh, heavy. My spell. I'm listening. What are you saying? My spell. Prison. Calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. This guy killed me like eight times in a row. So I'm just. Uh, I'm just cheat killing him to test this out. But we're gonna have to kill him legitimately. Okay, let's see if this works. So, so see if this works. Ready? Alright. No! What? Now I think it's... The stuff of legend. Right, boo? Well, wait. Something's locking the fucking eyeballs. Or something. Is this locking it? No. What locks it? Uh, let's just do a script for it all. Uh, A6 statue. Let's do a search for see if there's anything weird locking it, man. Uh, I'm going to do searching all the fucking uh, scripts. This is like, I don't know. We'll see if this even works. There's so many fucking... I guess because once you open it in game, there's no use for container. No. Um, no, no. Unlock. It's supposed to unlock it. Did not disable it. No, no, no. Once you open... No, it's not normal. Gonna... So I'm going to do a search here. Oh, let's, let's see. My previous computer wasn't able to do... Really? Wow, this computer is so much faster. Let's see if we can do a search here. I'm going to see if there's some other script disabling it. Like, uh, not only... Well, changes we do here might not, like, affect the current save game, though, I think. So just because I set it to unlocked here, I don't think that matters. So it'll work next game. Yeah. There's only three things, so... The only things in it... Uh, I don't understand why unlocking it causes it to be disabled. Wait. No, it should. No, they shouldn't. They should be unlocked. Right? Like, I, like the break difficulty thing like went into effect. When I changed that. You know what I mean? Wait, why does it say it's locked still? 
Oh. Oh, I didn't do it right. Wait, no, it's not locked. It's not locked. Why does it say locked here? <laughs> Wait, do I have to like do this? Okay. Fucking assholes. But why is the lock difficulty 70? Does it have to be unlocked and no lock difficulty? I have no idea. No lock. Why is the lock difficulty 30 here? Why is it a different lock difficulty? It might, it might not unlock itself. I don't know. It's really hard to test because it's too. I want to go and get some booze. By the way, so I've, I've decided. Why can't I? Oh. Um, what are we just doing? Yeah, I'm right now. Cool, I'm Whoa. I'm gonna leave the stream running. Alright. I don't know. I kind of got. I kind of want to walk off my pissed offness right now. And, the, and nobody here talking to me while I was working on it. it pissed me off. So that's fine. So I'm going to leave the stream running and give you guys a great show. Um, Saves, thank you. Uh, let me do the... Uh, no, let's see if it, We reloaded it here, so let's just see if it works first. I mean, I don't know if those change... This is impossible to find out looking online. No one knows anything, but like the... Uh, Maybe like uh, maybe it'll work for next game. Hurry the fuck up! Come on. Non cross gray wolf and live. Oh, that is good. Die. My work will be done. Die, die. Thank you. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly complex. Shut up and go away. No one cares about you. Yes. All right. Uh huh. Still locked. Like, can I? You're a clear. What do you want? This way. It burns. All right, so I'm gonna be satisfied immediately. If you wanna, if you wanna take it, you have to break it open with your with your weapon. That makes sense because they're embedded in the fucking statue. I, I don't want to go off in the faith here that it's actually gonna be locked, um, or not locked next time. You know, in case like this stuff's only cached once. Um, so I will lock it. And we will. I mean, it's strange how there's like a there's a lock. There's actually a lock difficulty on it. So like the mod author intended you like you could actually pick lock it. Like no, you wouldn't lock pick a fucking eyeballs in a statue. Well, let's have it so you have to break it open. It's just fucking weird. But I'll I'll put the defaults there. And then uh like that. All right. So this should work. Great. Yep. Well, the funny thing is, for this character, I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna even do it though, because if you take the emeralds, you lose some reputation. I think. But a mod, uh, I think a mod added that though. I don't think I used to do that. I mean, those emeralds are stolen. The emeralds are stolen. Jalcales? <sighs> I'm listening. What are we just doing? Uh, prison, calm yourself. You know I'm a good person. Else here. I'm neutral good. I can take. Oh no, losing your reputation sucks. No 
uncross Grey Wolf and live. See if it works. My work will be done. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story. And one I shall have to report back to my order right. as soon as possible. You failed to force it? What? Come on, man. Yes. What? Did I not save the changes or what? It's starting to piss me off, dude. What? I, I tested that I was working with before. Does it be like one or something or what? Do I have to reload the area? Let's reload the fucking area. You don't want to rep? I mean, it lowers store prices and... I don't know if it changes some people how they treat you. Um, the big thing about it is if your rep gets too low, you start getting hunted down by... The Flaming Fist and they're fucking awful. Which is why it's so hard to play like an actual evil party in this game. Also, some some party. I'm busy. Fuck off. Uh -huh. Prison, calm yourself a moment. There's someone else here. None cross Grey Wolf and live. Have at thee, ye thieving. Soon. My work will be that done. That was a noble deed. An unfortunate ending to a surprisingly convoluted story, and one I shall have to yes. report back to my order as soon as possible. Well, sure thing, boss. Now I remember why traveling with you was always so much fun. Oh, okay, work now. This group shows promise exceptional. There we go, that's fixed. Good. But you lose reputation. If you do the other one, do you lose... Why can I not force the fucking lock? Surface dwellers can be so stupid. You you're a queer this way. It must be cash. <sighs> we're just gonna have it so look, I don't know why I can't script it to unlock. But we're gonna have a I forgot about the fact that like you get a reputation loss if you try to get it. So, um... So it doesn't need to be working right now. There's no way that it, there's nothing in the scripts that lock it. So, okay. So it's because of cache data. I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Like, just make it so it's not locked. And then next time, if we ever play an evil character, we'll be able to take it. Just fine. That's what we're going to do. That's how it is. And then it's disabled though until you like deal with the encounter. So it should work just fine next time. All right. And that's resolved. All right. Good. Open it before I even murder you, man. Good. All right. Yeah, next playthrough. Yeah. Well, our this character wouldn't take it anyway. I mean, if we play an evil guy. But uh, we fix the bug for next time. Alright. But now we have to do that, uh, we have to do that fight again. Legitimately, so I get, so I get experience. I'm gonna take a break, and, uh,
maybe get some booze or something for later. So, thank you for being here. Be right back. Time to rise and shine. 